Milk. Crate. Marauder. Thundering John's band. He kept bugging me to be on the TV show, so we let him play at the house party. We went out and did a house party thing. And I really didn't get to hear him that day because I was so busy working. I don't know how he sounded in the room. I'll be honest with you. I really didn't get to hear you in the room. I was so dumbfounded by what was going on. It was so confusing. It's it's, it's uh, where are you going, Fred? John's about to start stuttering like a banshee. No, uh, actually, I brought in I brought in the uh, studio tape, and you said you play it just to, just to show. <laughs> it looks like Charles Manson this morning. He's crazed. Were you up all night thinking about this? I haven't been able to sleep really too well. <laughs> oh. Idiot. <laughs> So you ready? Have you heard this? What? Not really. I mean, you know, I mean, like, uh... What? I kind of, you know, I kind of walked by when Scott was dubbing it, but, uh... Yeah, you didn't listen? Not, not to the whole thing, no. Mm -hmm. You heard a little bit of it. Yeah, I heard a little bit of it, and I, and I realized that some idiot, some idiot was mixing it, because you can't even hear guitar. <laughs> what do you hear this? It's like bass and drums. What do you hear, John? Oh, dear. Did the guy bring in the card on my other, uh, of, 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 I'm of, sure he uh, did. Of, of, of the studio version? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Where are you, Fred? The guy ripping in my car. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's busy with studio versions, and uh, he, I, he, a record album he can't get. He's got studio versions. He's got more tapes of songs <laughs> for a guy who's never been published you, anywhere. Because when you write, because when you got a song in your head, you got to put it on tape, man. Right, right on. You All right, do it. And you can say, G -g -g -g. if I was you, man, I would just like, I wouldn't even have a band or anything. I just stutter because the stuttering is great. It's easy to mic. It's easy to mix. Get right in the studio with it. Never have a problem. It's always a great performance. Yeah. I tell you, you're very funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd have Fred to just back you up. He'd be a background singer, and every time you mess up, he could just repeat it. Instant replay. <laughs> All right, what is this song called? Heaven's Away. Heaven's Away. Yeah. Which means... Heaven's Away? Yeah. Meaning... I explained it already. Yeah, no, you didn't. And this is a radio show. It's not the I TV understand, show. I understand, I understand. Um... I didn't really explain it too well. Why don't you just listen to it and you get heavens it. away? Why don't you listen to it? Who is how, All right, no, you know what it is. Is heaven your girlfriend? Yeah, it was just because. Yeah, it's, I don't really. I, I got to a point where I really didn't care too much about uh, the geeshish because you know about like because you know, I, I just kind of broke up with a girl and uh, and now and now it really doesn't matter to me too listen much. Listen to those sentences he puts together. No one knows what he's talking. about. I know. About. I'm not good at explaining myself. You're not no, at all. That's why you're a writer. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I got a hundred things I want to say and I can't I can't well, fit just them in. tell me what the song's about. Heaven's away. It's about I broke up with a girl and I, I don't care about it. No with more. the gay sheesh and they, no one knows what you're talking I about. Broke with a girl, gay sheesh. I, I broke up with a girl and it's and it's and everything's fine. You broke up with a girl and yeah, everything's I, fine. I, I, got, I got over it. You got over it. So this is about getting over the breakup yeah, of a there romance. You there you go. <laughs> I, 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 you know, you can listen to the words. It explains itself. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it will. <laughs> just about as clearly as you just did, I'm yeah, sure. Sure, it'll be real easy to understand. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I, 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 I haven't slept. <laughs> I really haven't slept, man. I haven't slept. All right, very good. <laughs> It was very. It was, it was a very long day yesterday. You know what's great, Alan? John is starting to sound like Fred imitating John. Yeah. <laughs> you know, There's a very thin line out over yeah. who's who. He just started and it went. Wait, that's coming from the. Room. Yeah, right. <laughs> what was that? He just said, Fred. Oh God! No, you even forgot. I forgot what he said. <laughs> it was a very long day. Oh, my God. <sighs> a long day. <laughs> it was a very long day. <laughs> All right, you ready? Here it is. Heaven's away from our TV show. Um, okay, now, now just look. You know, you, you, you're, you're exactly right. It's the mix, man. It doesn't do it us. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll see. Go ahead, listen to this. <laughs> Sounds like psychedelic B.
<laughs> what is this guy? This isn't Heaven's Way, but I mean, this is the first one we did. Where is Heaven's Way? He didn't give you that? Yeah, I did. It's about two minutes in. That's what I wanted to tell you. I don't want to hear Heaven's Away. This you can't even hear. Neither could you hear that one either. No, uh, you can hear it fine. Yeah, yeah, but, you, you, uh, wait, just, uh, just, uh, just play this for a second. I wanted to... Just, I just, I just, I just, just fast forward this. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. It's only a soupy. It never gets a word out. <laughs> <laughs> it's all stutters. Scott, I mean... Fred. Just wait. But if they haven't got it out, Scott would already fast forward. Call Heaven's Away. Heaven's Away. All right, let me hear that. Heaven's Away. I just gotta say one thing. What? I never heard a regular song on the radio that sound like this. <laughs> I, I never heard. I never heard anything. No, I mean I'm talking about this kind of singing. Why don't you play the, the studio tape if you if you? Sing? All right, one second though. I, I just gotta I gotta tell you something. I never heard anything that sounded like this. Well, that's great. I, I, oh yeah. I don't think he meant it as a compliment. <laughs> You can keep it to yourself. Come on and rock it. You're busy rapping. Lady, come and lay go. Don't let the door hit your behind. And when you leave me, girl, you just vanish from my mind. There is one thing that's certain that I will be alright. <laughs> yeah, people can say my heaven's away. My heaven's away. Where's the freaking guitar? I mean, come on, come on, listen to that. Play the studio tape for a second, and then and then and then analyze something. That's ridiculous. You can worry about the sound. I'm absorbing the words. Yeah. What is he talking <laughs> about? What did he say? Lady, come and lady go. Yeah, don't let the door hit your behind. Don't the Lord door you hit your me? behind. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was getting into the performance. What is that? Lady, come and lady go? Yeah. I know what he's trying to say. Don't let the right. door hit your behind. In other words, I can bang him and say, Gigi, yeah, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I, I, I have no tie. I have no emotional ties right now. Sure, but, I mean, that's an interesting way to say it. Don't let the door hit your behind. Yeah, as as they split, you know, you know, yeah. Yeah, you, I know. I've heard that expression. Exactly. I haven't seen the expression, John. Exactly. And then it goes. It's interesting to put it in a song. song and then man. it says, "Because when you leave me, you vanish. You just vanish from my mind. It's like that. We get you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wham Bam. Thank you, man. Great. <laughs> Good lyric. And then you say, "My heaven's away." I don't understand. Why is heaven away? Or you my just, heaven's you away. Just kicked you out the door. And you don't care. So why is heaven? Heaven is a pretty heavy statement. Because people, it says people can say, "My heaven's away." What does that mean? People can say, "Oh, you know, uh, you know." All right, nice job, man. You know, he's all upset, but it really, I'm really not. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see you're leaving, girl. I can see it in your eyes. Please don't. Kick can you just play it just for a second? I mean, just just to just to, just to be fair, could, could you play the other version? <laughs> just for a second, could you come on? Just give me. I have to take a break. You told me yeah. you would. All right, here. Let me hear that. Let me hear your other version, the doctored version. That's not doctored. This is the real thing. Wait, wait, I don't know who was Mike in that. Come on, you, you, be honest. Now you only got other. Oh, <laughs> Gonna sound different. So I'm not.
It's good, it's good but oh. anyway. I don't think it's bad at all. I think it sounds pretty good. I don't know at all, man. You can keep going one second. I don't Just know go. if you're going to... I don't know if A couple more seconds. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. At least get to the... At least you need a producer or something. Yeah, this is a, this is a, this is my friend's house. But at least at least at least she there's, there's, there's proper levels. <laughs> All right, look, I got to really break. I got to start the FMEs. I don't have time for this. Very good. Okay, good. You did a nice job. Out of way to shine. <laughs> Look, he's all upset again. What do you want from me at the levels? I don't uh, control that. Well, you could at least give it a couple more. I just got to get to the FMEs. I got somebody lined up to win an FME. Do you want me to miss that? Uh, no, not at all. All right. <laughs> I gave you some time. We heard some of your music. Give me 10 seconds. Well, that's what, well, I tell you what. How about if I come back to it later? The gong show gives you more time. All right. What if I give you some time later? We'll play the rest of it. I hear that. Yeah, yeah. He's all upset. What does he want from me? This is it. Look at him. He's like not. I'm so, Why you know is he it? smiling at you and going like this? Because he, you know what he's doing. You know what? The whole time that's playing, he's staring at me. Yeah. And like smiling and like nodding his head, like look, yeah. Look, it sounds. What do you good. mean? Yeah. All right. It so it's a big good. hit song. Everyone's gonna run out and buy it. It is. It could be a hit song. All right. Let's hope so. He's brainwashing it. I know. I swear. I think so. He's trying I to think mesmerize I'm, it. I think I'm supposed to like start shaking my yeah, head back. Right. Surprise! You're supposed to get like, it. Dropping drops of water on your forehead. I know. <laughs> you would like it. <laughs> I've heard better stuff from you. You might have. Yeah, I mean, I've heard better. I've heard better. This is another song we got. Oh, I got. I got hundreds. All right. <laughs> very good. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. What do you want from? Look, it's very well, good. Saying, You're going to be a big I'm hit. Just saying, the, 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 what do you want wait, from? Me? You know what, saying, John? Well, You're 26 I, years well, old. I'm, saying, I'm sure you're going to get a record contract any day. All I'm saying is, like, at least you hear the girls. I mean, right. It, it sounds it, great. It's really right, great. Right. It's great. What do you want from me? It's I, great. I think a lyric like the door hit your behind is going to really catch Yeah, you. I yeah. think a lot of people yeah, respond yeah, to that. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, like you can't, I like you can't sit and analyze anybody's lyric and make it look stupid, <laughs> right? Come on. I like <laughs> you can't sit there and like, analyze anybody's lyric, you know? It's Dante's Inferno in here, I'm telling you. <laughs> 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 All right, we got to think of a very good John. I'm very proud of you. It's great. What do you want from me? I don't care. You know, listen, you it's know, we great. All can't be, it's great. You know, we all can't be superstars, man. What do you want from me? Well, that's a bad attitude for someone who wants to be a superstar. <laughs> I like it. If I didn't know. Paul like Abdul it. made it, why can't you? She doesn't she, do her own music. So she banged somebody. Yeah, maybe you ought to borrow some of songs. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you ought to ask her who writes ours. <laughs> nah, you did great. It's great. It's a great song. What do you want from me? I like it. Don't patronize. He's asking. He wants to keep the tape. He wants to keep the tape. Can I, can I keep it? it yeah. I want to use it in my look car. Look at, look at, look at, look at. <laughs> what? What? Just eat me, right? Look, 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 look. look. Viper look, over there. You know? She sits there on a perch. <laughs> on a perch over there. The Wicked Witch. Hey, listen. You're the one who set yourself up. You've got yourself a band. Yeah, we do good. But, but you begged to be like on the TV show. You begged me to be on the TV show, and then you, I don't know what you did there. We pack them in wherever we play. People I know. Us, man. They, I know no, they do. I, Everyone I was digging you. We, we just played out in Philly at Dick Lee's. We had 500 people there. I know. You're doing good. Shoot, like was it. there anything else at Dick Lee's? <laughs> you, were any other bands there? No. In fact, as one band was one, everyone was screaming, Mund. What? As a warm up band was on, everyone was warm up band. There was a warm up band. Yeah, and, they, and what was the name? What was their name? This is our return engagement. We had more people. What was, it, what the, was the, the name of the band warming up? Angel Heart or something like that. But you see their record contract next week. <laughs> Angel Heart will have like a big no, they, CBS well, record. They're actually all covers. We do. Ah, uh, I see. I just think you know they serve drinks at Dick Lee. <laughs> <laughs> and whoever shows up. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, look at that, man. Is she unbelievable? I can't wait to hear her best performance, and believe me, I heard it, Robin. <laughs> hey, I don't oh, claim don't to be She ain't trying to make money. Wait, wait, she claimed she, claimed she was a backup singer, and she would have made it if it wasn't for, like, the people in her band. That's what she told Liar. me. Liar! You told me that people in the band wasn't into it, so you had to find a new career, but you were great. You're you talking me. about another time and another place. Yeah, come Today, on. Yeah, okay. I'm a newscaster. All right, yeah. Uh, yeah. A successful yeah. newscaster. Yeah, well, a newscaster with a paycheck. Well, by hearing her voice, I say thank God to that. She should talk about to attack her because you're a musician Alpha. Alpha. and you know you're you someone are who a, wants a interviewer <laughs> That's what yeah. You are. yeah you're today a news interviewer 
All right, very good, John. Look, nobody's here to argue with you. Your music is great. Robin's not attacking you. I'm not attacking you, Jackie and Fred. Everybody loves your music. That's right. All right? We're your biggest fans. We're your biggest fans, man. We put you on TV. I don't see anybody else doing that. I, I love you, man. All right, so then just go ahead. Go back and, and, and do your thing. My, my favorite is the explanation of the song. I think that was very good. That was good. Ibba dibba dibba geshi shawls fly now. Yeah, ibba dibba dibba geshi. Oh, Mr. Flies. Just does, does like 20 minute versions of yeah, but, I mean about, about how he looked at flies on the wall. At least it's a story. A story of what? What is your What is your song about? <laughs> no, right. I told you what it's about. It's about nothing. Ibba dibba dibba geshi shawls fly now. Yeah, right. That's how he, that's how he explains himself. Ibba dibba geshi dingia. Musingia has the door hit you in the back. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> That's a better lyric. <laughs> hey, listen. Very good. The point is, is that you know, it, 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 it's, it's very difficult for me to explain. <laughs> things like the one place where he could have saved himself would have been stuttering during that explanation. Yeah, but no. Look at Jackie. What is, your, what is your song about? <laughs> All right, look, why don't you come in later when you collect your thoughts and get a little rest? Who is this? Uh, Late Night TV for 200. Stuttering John and Jackie the Joke Man are featured on his late night show on E. Eric. What is the Howard Stern show? Yes. You're on the air. Yeah, Howard, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Howard, why is John the Stutterer so ugly? A lot of girls think he's cute. Really? Yeah, you should see. You should uh, see what goes on with him. <laughs> She's got a pretty good-looking girlfriend, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I yeah. can imagine. That's good. I don't know. I think John looks pretty good with that long hair. Come on. Come on, I like that hair. Hey, you know me, I'm into long hair. I think his hair looks better than mine. No way. Um, after he washes it. Yeah. There are many days he does. He's got some cool long hair. Problem is, one day he's going to have to go get a real job and cut it all off. That's the day I'm waiting for, right, Robin? No, I think he is never... I think his parents are committed to the idea that they're supporting him for the rest of their lives. Because I was thinking about it. What's John going to do for a living? Because John won't cut his hair off. So what's he going to do? His family ruined him. Yeah. So they have always to told him it's okay, life. whatever he wants to do. Because people say to me, hey, the guy's been with you for three years. When's he going to leave? He can't leave because... What's he going to do? I was joking around this morning. I said, we ought to fire all you kids. And then I realized John's not a kid. No. <laughs> John's almost as old as us now. He's not 25. He's going to start raising a family soon. Yeah. He's going to be raising a, <laughs> the world's most successful intern. <laughs> you know. Even Dan looked at him one day and said that they call you an intern. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. He's a grown man. <laughs> He's an intern. He's, this is his third year of intern. No, his fourth year of interning. <laughs> He's on his fourth year. He's actually made a career out of it. He's got sort of like a little radio show going. And, uh, yeah. He's getting paid from the TV show. And he's able to keep the long hair. And he's got that band. You guys set him up. Yeah, I guess in a way we have. I guess we've encouraged it. But What did he tell me the other day? What is his newest fantasy? That when we go into syndication in the fall, yeah. he will get a record contract just on the strength of that. <laughs> <laughs> On the strength of me being on full time. Right, right, yeah, you having a syndicated television show. Mm -hmm. Hey, okay, so in other words, that's why he's hanging in till the fall. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he always comes up for a reason for hanging in. <laughs> and I don't mind, I like him. All right, dude, I gotta go. Okay, Howard. Yeah, okay. Thanks. All right. And he told me the other day he's uh, asking you radio questions, you yeah. know? Oh. And you ran him away. You yeah. shooed him away. I did. Oh, it was so annoying. Because <laughs> you're letting John have a little radio show on the AM station. And now he asks me questions about radio. But boss, well, you know, well, he's like, B -b 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 boss. Well, yeah, it's legal questions. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to know about how far he could go. What was the question? I forget. He wanted to know if he was going to say somebody was Jimmy Page. If he had to say right up front that there was really not Jim, Jimmy Page, this was a satire. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. He wanted to know if he pretended to have Jimmy Page in the studio with him. He, I just said, look, John, you know what? I don't know. I'm really, you know, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you know, I don't want to know what you're doing. Do whatever you got to do. He said to me, Robin, he said to me, John, my head is going to explode. If you ask me another radio question, I can't deal with it. Yeah, I just can't. <laughs> I can't deal with him. 
I mean, he's asking me radio questions. <laughs> he says, give up the show. If you're going to have to ask me these questions, <laughs> yeah. give up the show. I couldn't take it. It's just annoying. <laughs> you know, I appreciate that. So you really bummed him out. I know. I, I appreciate that he's there early in the morning and he helps me out and everything. But and, and what more dedicated kid would come in for free at 4.30 in the morning or 5 in the morning, whenever he comes in? But... I mean, I don't want to hear, you know, he's asking me questions. I really, you know, consult a lawyer, John. What do I know? I guess he thinks that's part of, like, his pay. He yeah. gets to get advice from you. No, he didn't get anything from me. <laughs> I get everything from him. I don't have to return anything. That's my plan. So he couldn't believe that you just... Blew him off. Shut him off like that. Gee, sorry. So, of course, now I have to answer the questions. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You'll give them the right answers. <laughs> You're the one who keeps coming to me and asking me what you can do. No, 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 no. I look at him and I'm like, what are you doing? You're not Howard Stern. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what he's doing Why on that radio show. Why are you asking me these questions? You are not Howard Stern. I should Howard John, used to do that because he's Howard Stern. I should, John, you stutter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hate to break the news to you. What are you doing? <laughs> then he's talking to me about how they won't let him talk and they make him play. Th I said, you're not Howard Stern. You know, thanks to me, a stutterer gets a radio show. And now he wants more. Now he wants more from me. I said, please, leave me alone. <laughs> We've delayed your growth. What is it? No, it's pretty funny. John was, was uh, he was trying to ask you an important radio question last week, but he couldn't get up the nerve, so he kept asking me it. What is it? He wanted to do a thing on. Let's have him ask it. Where is he? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> now he's a radio guy. And he's got all the other interns giving him advice. Yeah. yeah. What about if you say somebody famous is on oh, yeah. 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 What's the question? What is it? Why are you not annoyed? What are you trying to do with you, that stupid little show they gave you? How do you know it's stupid if you never even heard it? No one has ever heard it. That's what makes it stupid. Robin heard it. He made, he forced me to listen. Well, how did you hear it? She I was in my car Friday, so I oh, said, all oh. right, I'll do John a solid. I'll listen to this mess. Yeah, how was it? It's like radio, I guess it's okay, because it's like radio 100 years ago when guys used to make noises. You know, <laughs> the thing was a noise, and he's Mr. Gaysheesh. Oh, every minute he says Gaysheesh? That gets a little old. No, I don't, I, I, have a, I have a whole bunch of bits, man. Go ahead, do, do something that you do. Say something. What do you mean? Look, where's your radio show? You got it on tape? Yeah, I have it on tape. Gishish. Is that what you said? You got it, Gary? I have, I have a few bits. Go pull a few. All right, hold on. I got to take a break. I'm just talking about just the regular old break between the records. Yeah. He's a guy who makes the funny noises. Oh, really? I'm hanging. I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, it's cool. Gishish. What do you mean? You put book, book, gishish. That's what you say? <laughs> Sometimes. <Yeah. laughs> you know, I mean. So what's your question? Right, well, let me take a break and then you can ask your question. It's, 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 it's uh, how do you say pertinent? You know, it's very, it's a very important question. It's how do you say pertinent? Yeah. Pertinent. Yeah. You said it fine. Yeah, it's pertinent. <laughs> how do That's you say, your question. How do you say pertinent? It, by saying how do you say I can say pertinent? If, if I would have been on the P for about a, about a half hour. So what? See, sometimes if, if <laughs> like you're going to stutter, if you put a few words before the stutter, then you won't stutter. It's a whole. So whole he didn't mean to here. ask you how to say pertinent. I was going to say it's per the question is pertinent. Oh, 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 oh but, okay. Uh, all right. In other words, he, <laughs> all right, we'll be back right after these words. Uh -huh. All right. I don't have a lot of time for this, John. Oh, what was your question? Okay. All right. Here's my question. If you want to, I have, um, I want to do a Jimmy Page, like, parody bit. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy Page, you know, the, uh, the great uh, guitarist from Led Zeppelin. And uh, I wanted, to, I wanted to know if, if I have to tell the audience that this is not Jimmy Page in the beginning. You already asked me that. I told you I don't have an answer. Yeah, that's the same question again. Yeah, that is. The I question. don't have that answer. I don't know. Ask Tom. Ask Tom. Right. Ask the general manager. What are you asking me? What do I look like, a lawyer? Well, you obviously know what. Let you're... me hear your show. And now, for the moment you've all been well, waiting the for, intro. You heard the winner of Guitar Magazine's Best New Guitarist Contest, voted Best Bass Fisherman in Field and Stream Magazine, three-time winner of the Mobile, Alabama spinoff with the unprecedented Louis Hawk of 72 B, voted Male Stun of 1990 by Playgirl Magazine, voted Most Likely to Succeed by Sylvia Packer Junior High, five-time cheater on his girlfriend, two-time Tony winner for his stellar performance in Street Car Named Desire, Car and Truck's dirtiest, greasiest, most honorary sap that ever got behind a four wheels hog. The Kamikaze stuttering in the mirror for the Howard Stern. Okay, I'm bored. Well, that was the intro. That's not my show. I'm bored already with you. I'm bored with your show. You lost me already. Well, that's an Who intro. Who cares? That's an intro, Howard. Right. You know, I mean, we all have intros. 
Do you know who that is? Uh... What? Do you know who that is doing it's the John. Intro? No. Who is that? That's uh, that that guy Timmy. No, no, no. That's no, John. That's, that's you doing that? Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That was John. I recognize John the voice. Even with that stupid harmonizer on it. A man which has grown from your own nexus, America, stuttering John. I sure heard the intro to a show. It lasts about 10 minutes. I say, I've never heard that. Boring stuff. I would lose that if you want my critique. You know what's really weird, though? When I played it for you, you out in your office, you liked it. You know? Because when I'm off the air, I lie to you. Is that, see, that's what I tell people. I, 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 be more honest on the air, right? I mean, of course. Oh, yeah. Why am I going to, why would it off the air? What does it pay for me to be honest with you? I lie to everybody off the air. Because that I could really, um, I could gain from your wisdom. Don't gain from, I'm not here to He's teach you. He's not your father. Yeah. Go you to your forget. dad. Go to Melendez, Mr. Melendez Sr. Yeah, but a person interns so they can learn That's about, what gets up uh, to you to learn. I'm not here, to, I don't, I don't get you here so I can teach you. I'm not, it's not a teaching program. If I want to teach, I'll go over to one of those loser colleges <laughs> that you went to. And what is this about? King Crimson? Uh, I just come in. What, is that what you're playing on the show? No, I just, it's just my Is that your theme song? This goes on? What is that, based on my routine about King Crimson? Well, well when you went off on, on uh, in, in the wake of things to come, I right, welcome to the Johnny Mel Show, the Gash Man, the Stuttering John. Why don't you get a stick of your own? What are you playing the songs that I like for? No, I remember, I always play this in front of me before, I think it's funny. What? I always play this before my shows, I think it's funny. You think it's funny because of the bit I do on it? No, because... You didn't we, even know this song when I first did it. A long time ago when we, we had our album out, Rock Slide and the Wake of Things to Come, I really, I thought it was funny. Oh. I mean, but, you know, so it's, 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 and you kind of like went off on me. John Meister Melendez, heavy metal rock and roll radio show. How's everybody doing? Good. Listen, let me just, you know, give you a little bit of my, uh, 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 my, uh, <laughs> well, that's fine. I used to be a, uh, NYU graduate. I, uh, I majored in film and TV. And actually, my first job was uh, I was uh, directing films, you know, and, but I got fired because I went $25,000 of a budget because I couldn't say <laughs> cut. <laughs> Oh, you're doing a monologue. Yeah, thank you. A monologue. Right, listen, get out of here. Oh, Bro, come get out on. Of here. It's it wasn't horrible. that bad. Well, can't you be real? It was Don't do real. Jokes. It's me. Don't do jokes. Oh, man. Be real, huh? Get with it. See, I never heard any of all of yeah, this. Well, well, Robin, this is my demo tape. This is, this is what I gave to Tom to get the okay on the show. I mean, Tom okayed your show on basis yeah, of this. Yeah, based on this tape. I see. So I mean, now I'm. It's it's it's, it's uh, how do you say more freewheeling? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Go ahead. I got to get to the news. Uh, people want to hear what's going on. What? This is fun, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get out of here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go back and do whatever it is you do for me all morning. Do you have any more radio questions? He asked me the same radio question about him doing a Led Zeppelin. Pa I said, "Go ask Tom. I don't have the answer to that." All right, man. That was the question. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, that. yeah. That was the question. Johnny, <laughs> okay. Johnny Mel say wishy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are my bits, man. You should play that. That's quiet. Oh work. no. Oh Which no. Which one are you gonna give? I'll try Gash, man. <laughs> oh yeah, this is my. Oh, this is okay. Oh, this is all right. Didn't we already do? No, this, this is a new one. There's a new one. Oh, this is the the rap. Johnny Mel raps. Yeah, boy. What's up? What's up? Uh huh. We're talking. Listen up now. We join me. What's up? The gate, man. Oh man, that was bad. I'm the gauge, man. <laughs> listen up to this, yeah. All right. Wait a minute. Wait until he starts rapping. Oh, yeah. That's where I rap. Oh, man. I'm so bored with you. I'm so bored by your life. Oh. The farm to do the animals some harm. Yet the pigs were in the brig. So I had to use my charm. I called up Sally Ann, a real close friend of Dan. I said, come now, I'll show you how, because I am the gauge, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm the gay. You have no idea how boring you are. And he was so oh, yes, thrilled so with this. Yeah, he has no idea how boring he He was okay. dragging everybody into the office and making them listen People, to it. You know, Do you have any idea how you know, boring you are? Okay, you're the only person in the world who didn't like it. No one is going to tell you the truth. That is right. boring and dull. If I played that now, I'd have every person tune out. I doubt it. The gay men. It's funny when you say gay men. That's it. It doesn't go any further than that. All of a sudden, he went. thought he could rap. Yeah. Anybody could rap. Ask listeners if they like that. You ask him. 
ask them. I don't trust listeners anyway. You know, the ones who listen are the ones who call in are all retarded anyway. Wow. Those are the, those are the weirdos. <laughs> those who sit by the phone. The ones who are like normal don't call in. Right. Like I would be a listener of the show. I would never call into it. No, I, 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 I never called in when I would listen. You called in? I never did. No. How could? <laughs> the Gaishman. <laughs> what is this one? What is questions clip? No, I don't want that. Uh, What's the one you did last What's week? Alvin, Alvin Dice, Dice Clay. What is that? All right, that's what I want to hear because he was explaining that. I never got to hear it. <laughs> but he couldn't even. Couldn't articulate what it was. Yeah. Right. Already it's too long. Yeah, what's the Big Horn Records is proud to present the release of Alvin Dice Clay's latest work, Irreverent But Furry. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late today, but I just spent the past six hours running for my life. Richard Gere thought I was a gerbil. What did he say? Yo! I don't even know what you said. Something about a gerbil. What did he say? Richard, Gere, Richard thought was... Gere thought I was a gerbil? Richard Gere, you know, that was a... Richard Gere... Is it a homosexual? That was like a vicious rumor that got started. Yeah, it was just... And that almost ruined the guy's life. <laughs> I'm just saying it. Don't you think that's rather... <laughs> and plus, I couldn't understand it. I didn't hear him say Richard Gere. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, it's kind of funny if you could just sort of get it out in a good delivery. Laugh at his hysterical antics. Yo, honey, winter's coming round. Wanna store my nuts? What do you say? Store my nuts? Winter's, winter's coming, coming round. round. Oh, winter's Wanna coming around. Yeah, you're just going nuts. a little deaf, man. You know? No, I'm not going deaf. I'm cheating. telling you, I couldn't understand it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not deaf. <laughs> you know, when he gets into that bad story, he kind of looks like a monkey. <laughs> 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 Alright, listen, I gotta get to news. Oh, I really don't have time to listen. I'm sorry. I don't have time to listen to your bitch. Okay. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> because we're on the show, yeah. in order to not stutter, yeah. he'll change words <laughs> 3,000 times in the same sentence. Really? Yeah. Well, I think the stuttering part is the best part of it. <laughs> well, thanks. You wanna hear some more, Alvin? Uh, one more. Alvin Dice yeah, Clay. Yeah. One more joke. <laughs> One more joke. Who oh, would I like to hibernate in your hall? Don't forget his infamous nursery rhymes. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. I f them. To order, send all your money to Irreverent But Furry. P.O. Box, Null and Void. Oak Tree, USA, 0000. zero, 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 zero. And how annoying is he when he tries to be like an announcer? Yeah. Hey, nobody says I'm an announcer. Zero, 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 zero. You know. Oh, is... please. Just get out of here. All right. I'm sorry, man. Dude, stupid show. Stupid question. I got a little support, I got a, 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 I got a new bit. You know, you know, you can be my friend. <laughs> new bit like, coming like up this afternoon. What? You Stick with friend. Johnny Mellon. Like, John, you know, good luck on your, on your, on your. Oh, get out of here. But see, that's what you say off the air. That's right, but I don't mean it. Okay. So now that we. I told you, I did a whole bit this morning for a half hour how I lie off the air. Through my teeth. Yeah, but even to a friend like me, you know? You're not my friend, John. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, See, he keeps, uh, he was upset with me, too. He was about to stop talking to me forever. Well, she's Because a, oh. a couple of weeks ago, he got to ride in your limo. Then we were all yeah. hanging out. And he thought he would have an opportunity to bond with you, and I ruined it. Well, she, well, she sits there. You know what? She's mad. I don't say hello to her in the morning, and then she's yeah. going off with, 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 how do you say, a crap. <laughs> All right, listen, i got to get some news. I don't know why I'm involved with you. <sighs> All right. I like it. I dig you. Don't worry. You're a good guy. But he knows he needs time to bond with you, Ralph. I, I, I think you're a good guy, too. I like to hang with you. you know? Man, me, too. Unfortunately, there's no time for that. <laughs> I mean, you, I don't know what you do. You don't work for me. You don't get paid. You show work. up and we let you do stuff. That's wait, all. Wait, wait, wait. I, I don't. I used to do work for you. I work no. for you on TV. That's true. All right, all right. Calm down. All right, please. <laughs> Who this? Uh -huh. Guns and Roses. Yeah, well, I can't seem to get a copy of the new Guns N' Roses album. Baba Boo, you're supposed to get me one. <laughs> I hear it's real good. You know that it is the number one and number two. Yeah. Because it's two records. Best-selling album. Oh. They sold a million and a half copies last week. I got, a, I got, a, I got a couple. Let me warm. You got a couple? How did you get a couple? I got, I got them for Z Rock. Yeah, I want one I could take home. 
I can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can make that happen for you, so. All right, thanks, man. You're a good intern. I can make it happen for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's been a half hour waiting and then he blurts out what he has to say so fast. <laughs> that album's off the charts before I before he could say it. <laughs> the new <laughs> <laughs> I got it from Z Rock. <laughs> Like a chant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's just like bees. <laughs> the flies. <laughs> What's the fly sound effect? Is it sometimes a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's the weekend. We should play some Led Zeppelin. Sure. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Gary says the, uh, the Guns N' Roses song is pretty funny, the one that has Bob Guccione really? Jr. in hear it. Because we were saying, how does he rhyme Bob Guccione Jr.? <laughs> and what happens is they're doing the song, and, and Axel's getting real angry on it. And then all of a sudden, it just breaks into an instrumental part. Oh. And Axel starts screaming, oh. ripping that stuff out. It's like the concert. It's like rap music. Because <laughs> there's no way you can rhyme Bob Guccione no. Jr. with something. I mean, that'd be a real, real genius. <laughs> you know, rhyming Bob Guccione Jr. is an effing a-hole. <laughs> you know, on a song, it's pretty hard. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> We're trying to anticipate. Hey, John, come here. We want to goof on you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I forget it. I don't want to make fun. Nah. Hey, man. You know, it sounds like bees when you wind up. That's too funny, man. Yeah. <laughs> How come you have Guns N' Roses and albums and and and, and uh, Jack? Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Can't get me one. Because <laughs> I have it on zero. I see that. It's like a wind up. We've had him here for a while. Really? It's been, you just asked me. <laughs> All right, why don't we get out of here? Oh, that's too cruel. <laughs> it's a lot better than Where's this gig you're playing? In my hometown. I'm most, I'm, I'm, I'm oh. most people in Ireland. I don't know. I've been real bad today, man. I don't know what's going on. No, what's going on? No, what's going on? It's my hometown. I'm <laughs> oh. All right. That's funny, man. John is a little boy. You know, I'm getting a lot of crap for my stuttering, but I know when I grow up, adults will be a little more sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. He hates the torture, but he loves the airtime. Who <laughs> this? Uh -huh. John mm -hmm. is Ganji, my intern Ganji, and Gorillo's landlord yes they uh rented an apartment from john i don't know how he got to be a landlord i don't know what happened but jackie used to rent an apartment of john yeah. then john took over the apartment and he's renting to ganji and gorilla and the only reason we know about this is because someone heard ganji yelling on the phone the other day stuttering john evicted ganji and gorilla what
Yeah, he How evicted did he them. Evict them. And he told them you you got to be out by today, and they won't leave. Why did he? Yeah, I heard Ganji. Why don't you grab one of those microphones when he's talking? I really, didn't. I really don't want to talk about this. You don't? No. How come? I, I, because, I, like, I mean, it's just. I, 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 it's just, it isn't like I'm I'm doing it to be mean. I'm, Are they paying their rent? Yeah, it's not that. It's just that I'm being evicted. Oh, you're being I'm evicted. I'm being evicted. So if I'm being evicted, then I know how why can they, they say this? Oh, sorry, what? That's if the only problem. I'm being evicted. Yeah. Because the building thinks that I'm not there ever. Oh. And but, but you are there. Yes. Uh, you, know, you, know, you know, periodically. So, so I'm being evicted, and the place is trying to... You know, get money from me for the legal fees as long as this continues. Right. Okay. So I told Ganji and Grilver and Ashley, listen, guys, you know, you guys got to get out too. And they refused to leave. So, you know, I don't know how I could physically. But they understand that you're in trouble? That you, I mean, they don't in care. trouble, but. They, have, they, they don't care that when I have to fight. When did you tell them that they were going to have to go? About, th about two weeks ago. And, you know, and, you know it's like I'm, I've, I've tried every, you know, venue. I've called a lawyer, I've, I'm paying a lawyer, and I'm trying every way, but I, I, I don't want to so be. what happened? You had a lease. Yeah, and then, and then not what? renewing the lease. John's lawyer just called and said, "Stop talking about it right now," because he's on the phone with the lawyers. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. So it's so you know they're trying to get me out of it. Oh. My big deal is, I'm homeless. I have no home. Yeah, but that's not I, John's I can't problem. go home. It's not my problem. Why can't you go home? But it's my problem, and I kind of worry about it. I don't have a home. I don't have a roof over yeah, my but head. I'm not your mother. I didn't ask you to do anything. Uh, I said I'd take yeah. it over. I said I'd take care of the problem. I'll I'll look into it. And he yells but, at me, and I didn't but, do anything. But does he understand? The more you look into it, costs me money. Every doesn't day. cost you a dime. He doesn't understand. So I, I you know. I, I don't, I, you know, I, you know, I'd rather not discuss it because you don't understand. You do not understand. You, you, You're saying he's too stupid. I'm saying him again. You are only thinking about about themselves, but they have to think that it's my name and it's going to be and it'll be me. Right. You know what I mean? They don't You're care. But uh, but Robin, you remember right in the beginning, the initial thing was if I had any problems, I, you know, I'd have to get, you know tell him to leave. I told you not to get involved with him. In the I know. Well, I was nice enough to uh, you know to do that, and now it's getting you know blown up in, in my face, and it's just another example of nice guys finishing up. last. I just heard Ganji yesterday uh, yelling at John. You, uh, I'm giving you agita. You're giving me agita. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Ganji during all this? Well, you know, I'd just rather not talk about it. Are you fighting with him too? Well, I'm just trying to tell him. Listen, guys, I'm I'm, I'm trying my best, but it just you know you know. It, you know they don't seem to care. You know, and it's and it's ultimately it's my name. But but you know it doesn't doesn't it doesn't really mean anything to them because it's not them. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it's my fault for being a nice guy. And you know, Robin. You're following yeah, any of this, Robin? And Robin yeah. did tell me don't do it. And uh, she was right. And why are you and involved as usual, in all this? As usual, he listens. Why are you a landlord? <laughs> I'm not a landlord. I live there. Oh, you live there? Yeah. And you were letting them live there too? So, yeah, yeah. We're like the roommates. So why are you being evicted? Because they just don't, you know, that's a whole long story. I'd rather I can, you know, I'll get I it. I see. But they don't want to. So, so if Gang, let me hear you. If Ganji and Gorilla just left, it, your problem would be over. Yes. And now they won't leave. Wait mm -hmm. a minute. If Ganji and Gorilla left, would you be evicted? Yes, I'd be evicted either way. Oh. He just wants them out of there because he doesn't want the hassle. <laughs> he doesn't care if he's evicted. Right. The situation is that we're trying to work it out where nobody, you know, where everything comes well, out right. Yeah. That's what we're trying well, to do. Yeah. And, and John's lawyer keeps saying, you know. Don't talk about it. Right. He's, probably, he's probably correct. Don't talk about what? The fact that you're being evicted? Yeah. Because right. he's trying to, we're trying to straighten everything out. So, you know, John and I could say roommates. Oh. Yeah. So. so. And you were yelling at John, so you having this yeah, big fight? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we had an argument. Right. You know, over the phone. Sure, they, it was a, it was a loud argument. They know. don't understand that it's in, that it's in my name, and it, anything that happens is on the mind. John, John has a hard time talking. When, 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 you know, so he raises his volume, so you got to raise your volume, and then it becomes a huge argument. Well, how? You know only because I, mean? I nicely asked him if he Why are you involved in all of this? Oh, me? Yeah. Didn't I tell I'm you this is exactly I'm how it's going to turn out? Yeah, I don't know why you're involved in this. I'm an idiot. I'm a friggin' idiot. <laughs> that's why I'm involved in it, cause, because because maybe know. a Ganji and Gorilla can get on the lease. Well, that's, just, that's what well, we, that's what I'm I, trying to do. Right. But I don't know if they want to do that. That's what we'd like. So in other words, your lawyer has to be involved. You have to pay your lawyer, yes, John. But they don't and, care, and they don't care. No, no, oh, no. We we do care, and we don't want him to incur any sort of legal fees. But that's what we're trying to work out. But he's he's overly paranoid, thinking that you know stuff is going to happen. Well, he doesn't right. want to pay for all this. Sure, and of course not. We don't want him to pay for it. We, right. I, I don't want him to pay for it. That that'd be wrong, you know. So, so you guys to, have retained a lawyer. We're trying to work it out. Well, I've actually talked to a couple lawyers. Oh, yeah. you have. Yeah. And what they yeah. say? They they said what what Ross is doing is right. Oh. So you know what I mean? Right. This isn't doing us any good. He's on the phone. He says you got to stop talking. Yeah, all right. Let's, 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 let's introduce the show. All right. No. Wait, 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 wait
No, it's yeah. fine. I, I, you know, I didn't want to. Gorillas, gorillas out there on the phone. With, with, <laughs> I'm just trying to see why you guys are yelling at each other at work. You know why gorillas really? Well, upset? it was that. It was why? That. Because see, Ganji, great guy, no. got no place, but his parents would take him back lovingly. But I'll, right. Right. gorilla got no place to go. <laughs> but I, I, I am not going back. So. But you could have. You had. You're a real rebel, Ganji. Oh, what a nut. Right, because they'll set him up in an apartment if he doesn't come. No, home. gorillas is homeless as an actual gorilla. Right. <laughs> Very depressed. I just like it when you guys fight. It's I funny <laughs> over stupid stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, uh, whenever this they decided to all live together, I told John you shouldn't really. You know, with guys at work, you're just gonna mess up everything, and you'll all be at each other's throats one day. Right, and now and, here it is. But yeah, but you know what, Howard? I, I made them promise. I said if, 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 if they should ever give me a problem, then you guys are you know out, and they and they agreed to it. Of course they agreed to it. But so now they give me a problem, but they don't want to leave. So That's right. So you know they obviously you know. They're not giving you a problem. Yes, the building I, is. No. You are. I'm asking you guys to leave. He doesn't want to be roommates with you anymore. You never came out and said leave. You yes. said you're no. going to have I'm to. asking both of you guys to leave. And great. Now, where am I going to go? See... <laughs> Where am I going to go? But they're like, saying he doesn't want to be roommates with you anymore. That wasn't part of the deal. He's saying he doesn't want to be a roommate anymore. Yeah. I, and his name's on the lease. Yeah. I mean, What's the question? No, no, right. And we understand that. All right. It's like a girl breaking up with me. Who am I going to date? What? Let's try to get it switched well, to our name before. He doesn't want to do that. Yeah, I just want you guys to leave. I want you to go. I just want but, you but to leave. You don't but know, that's the deal. He doesn't have the apartment either. Nobody has a lease right yeah, now. What's the, the difference? Yeah, he's, he's, he doesn't want to be a roommate yeah, anymore. Yes, and I'm you guys always agreed to leave. I mean, you know, we had, even before it started, we had this discussion. You guys said if there's any problems, you guys would leave. Now I'm asking you to leave. That's all it is. I understand but, that. We we have. <laughs> that's a gorilla runs out when he says that. Being worked out. No, I'm just you know I'm serious about it, Angie. I, See, well, I, I remember these guys started there on probation in the first place because when they first moved in with John, they found John's Prozac and brought it in, and John was going to throw him out that day. Right. But so said, right away he said, "Okay, you guys gave me one headache," and then for a whole week he said, "I'm not even going to let you be part of my, you know being in my place." Then he said, "All right, if I let you in, one false move and you're out." Right. And now they don't want to leave. That's the problem. It's right. like you know, and, I, and we, we, like we're going to do fight them. <laughs> right. You you have every right to say. Then would you please leave? I, I don't know. And they don't want to listen. Change, he does have the right. Yeah. Not, you, you, not, I, I, once again, well, you are being like, spoiled. No, 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 no. Nobody has a lease, so he has no right to say anything. But it's, my, it's, it's his apartment. It's no, no. my name. It's, still, it's, it's, it's his name. It's still my He's name. saying to you he doesn't want to be your roommate anymore. Right. Yes. We're dealing with the building. We, we'll, next week, <laughs> we'll tell you everything. I mean, the, all right. You know. Okay. Well, why don't you guys go back and work this yeah, out? But we're gonna try I, to work it out. That's what we want. But it do. shouldn't. I want to work it shouldn't out. Shouldn't bother your work ability. No, no. This no. was way after work. This was, uh, you know. All right. You're arguing off hours. Off hours. All right. right. Way off hours. But you know, okay. So it, it should. It, I, no, I appreciate how work. they still understand it. You know, he, yeah. he, he thinks that just because that the lease is not, it's still on the my name, and I am still in power. The agreement was that leave. you guys would leave if he asked you to. The place is thinking about having me leave, so if I leave, you guys have, have to leave. You understand? So, right. So I'm asking you to leave. So hopefully you, you'll understand. That's just. But you won't leave, right, Angie? No. No, that, that, that's not no. what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. No. What is that, Angie? No. <laughs> There's that agreement between him or the building. He doesn't have a lease. He doesn't have a lease. We don't have a lease. We're working out. You, you, you agree to abide by John's rules. Yes. Right. And you're not doing it. No, we are doing it. So then leave. No. When are you leaving? <laughs> we'll always find out what's going on. When we find out what's going on, everything will be fine. All right. They're not leaving. No. No. <laughs> Which is, you know, <laughs> not a chance. No, it's just not right. <laughs> not a chance. You know what I mean? But... They're yeah, like they squatters, go. these guys. Yeah. Once they're in, man. That's it. Like now you can't get them out. Can't get them out like roaches. <laughs> <laughs> I read an article once that said if you get into an apartment in New York and the landlord wants to throw you out, it's a good 12 months to 18 months till they can actually physically get you out. But this isn't out. one of those cases. John's right. not a landlord. He's right. just saying, I don't want to be roommates with these guys yeah. anymore. Right, but if it takes a landlord that long, how long will it take John? Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's just, it's just yeah, but Gary, you know, there's an agreement made before well, this whole thing, and, it's, and it should be uh, honored. You know, honored. this reminds I, I, me I think so. of when they first moved in, John says, you know, look, you got to deal with the apartment as it is. And Gangy moved right in and started making a list of what was wrong. And these guys, you know what it is? Uh -huh. Like John said from the beginning these, to these guys, hey, listen, I'm willing to let you guys share my apartment with me, but if there's any kind of problem, I have the option to just throw you guys out. And Gangy's like, okay. Yeah, yeah but no they, they, they know that possession is nine-tenths of the law. Yeah. They're in now. But, but they're just like ignoring you. Exactly. And, uh, they're gonna now John has to go deal with all of this. Right. And if they had just left money. when you asked them, you wouldn't have to deal with no, any of this. This would be over already. Right. And I wouldn't have to be paying lawyers still.
Right. And this is, let me tell you, these, you should see what these guys are fighting over. This is not, a, you know, it's not, not a luxury high rise. I've been yeah. to the place. <laughs> Xanadu. Xanadu. I can't, I, I can't believe you've been to the place. Yeah, I have. It's not Xanadu. But Jackie, I, it was, it's Duke. When Jackie used to live there, <laughs> he invited me over once to, because uh, I needed to take a nap. It was the last time I went there. <laughs> Before it was ever The place was like caving in. in a place like I don't know how you go in there. <laughs> That was great. What's <laughs> gorilla? What are you going to give us a bullet in? No, the one thing I don't understand no. is, uh, are we not friends? Like, uh, if, yeah, if you were homeless, would you not, like, homeless. would I not, like, no, try to you, help you out? Don't you understand? Gorilla. Not what do you, you think, it's, it's, John? I'm not responsible. But, but you're, not even, you're not even responsible. Someone else is taking care of this no, for free. No, no one's taking care of it for free. Okay, but, but that's, that's someone wrong. else is making a couple of phone calls. Someone else who I obtained, and it's not for free. Gorilla, you don't understand money. something. He'd be in none of this hot water if you guys just had gotten up and left two weeks ago. All you got to do is leave, and I'm out of this. Where am no. I going to go? But, but that's, that's not his problem. problem. You knew that from but the beginning. But it's my problem, and I have to worry about yeah, it. You have I to worry about it. I can't go anywhere because I have no place to go. But that, then why would you get into a roommate situation with John, then, if you were worried why about that? Agree? Because it's the only place I can afford. Okay? Yeah, but the point yeah, but was, now you're making John pay for that. problem, you'd leave. You, you told John that if there was a problem, you would leave. And now you a won't. A problem with what? Like if, 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 if he has a problem. He he said, ha it doesn't matter a problem with what. He said if he has a problem. Yeah, with us. You, you yes, know us. With you. Like, like he, he said, anybody. I don't want no loud parties or nothing. We've been good tenants. No, we pay no, our no, rent that's not what he's month. That's not what he's saying. He's saying he's having a problem. Could you please leave? And you won't leave. Because I have no place to go. But, yeah, that's, but, not you, but that's not his. But that's not his problem. But it's my problem, and I guess what? I can't go anywhere. But no, no, no. I can't no, go anywhere. So what go am I going to do? But gorilla. So I get a, listen again. Six train. Gorilla, and like, listen, listen to me. This is why you sound dopey. I don't care if I sound dopey. I you 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 say to a friend of yours. You're supposed to. You said, hey, aren't we friends? You said to a friend of yours, hey, can I use your place? I'd be your roommate. And John says, you know what? I really don't want you as a roommate, but I'll do it for you. But if I have any issue whatsoever, I don't care what the issue is, you're going to have to leave. And, and you said, you okay. You agreed. This is the first time he said that you have to go. No, two weeks ago I told you. You to. said you made. You said you made it. All right, so then go. All right, all right. You said, you said they made it. Well. I'm just telling you now. Go. <laughs> okay. It'll save me a lot of money. Okay. I no place go. To go. And he's going to say he has no place to go. But yeah, I not, think that John is mother. supposed to take him somewhere else, I, know, I, know. I guess. Get, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have the money that you make on stocks, John, so I'm a little... Uh, yeah, but that's not, why are you getting well, resentful of him? I don't care. I have to worry about myself. Yeah, yeah, but okay, I have no place to but go. But then you lied to I John. I can't afford. So then you lied what? to John. No, I didn't lie to John. When you said to John, when you said to John, I'll leave if there's a problem. But come here. Come here. Jeez. He left. Now, now he's angry at me. How but I, I, understand, I only understand one thing. If a guy, he agreed. If, and when, when a guy says to me, "You're my friend," and you say, "Hey, I'll do you a solid and let you use the place," and but you know you'll you be go my, if there's any but problem. you got to go if there's any problem. There should be no questions asked. John has a problem. You know what? Yeah. Gorilla thought he was say, he thought he was agreeing that he would never be a problem. He didn't understand that problems could come from somewhere else. Yeah, right. And that that still meant he would have to. No yeah. contingency. The whole thing was yeah. shaky to begin with. Yeah. But you see the problem, how he is? He just yeah, because he, and then he walks out but when he loses the argument. And then he insults him. And then he insulted and, you and, about your stock. Yeah, like, the best part, though, is that he says, I can't go because I have no place to go. And now you have Ganji, who totally understands, but still won't no, react to this. No, I don't have to go. There's, but, there's more to it than you. What is there more to? The guy says he doesn't want you there. But, but there's what, more is the, what is the question? There's nothing more to no, no, it. If I invite you over my house and right. you say to me, hey, Howard, right. listen, I'm going to give you an example. Right. Right. I invite you over my house. Right. I, and you say to me, you know what, Howard? No, I really I like, like your house. Just listen to me. Okay, listen to okay, me. Okay, I really like your house. Okay, go ahead. I go, you do? Right. You know, you know what? I need a place to stay. Do you think I could pay to be your roommate? So, you know what? I'm not really looking for roommates, but you're my buddy. Okay. You can be my roommate. But right. i got to make a deal with you. For any reason, I change my mind. I mean, if, if I just feel like going to the bathroom by myself because I don't want you guys there anymore. For any reason. Because it could be as simple as I don't want you living I want you to anymore. leave. Okay. So, year goes by, two years, three years, suddenly you say to yourself, I don't feel like living with Ganji anymore. Hey, Ganji, leave. I'm not going. But wait a second. What do you mean you're not going? You promised me you'd leave. You're my friend. No. No. My mother, I'm not going back to her house. <laughs> I won't go back. <laughs> I don't have Dude, to. Dude, you know what you guys sound like? They don't. That's the no, scary thing. No, uh, no, no. I, I do know what we sound like. And it, you know. I mean, you know what? If, if, like, if like Gorilla had gone to John and said, holy cow, man, I'm really screwed. Maybe I can uh, just, you know, stay with you another day or two. Maybe John would have said, yeah. But if, if, be, if Gorilla would have done I would have let him stay at my place for a week or two. I mean, it's, I mean your other, your country place. Yeah. He right. lives with his girlfriend. You know, yeah. Right, right. yeah. His country place. Yeah, yeah. my girlfriend's he's, place. He's between two places. Just, right. Oh. He's sort of like I, moved in. He's not home a lot because he's with his I'm girlfriend. I'm not allowed to live with my girlfriend until we get married. So, right. Yeah, but, you know, but I would stay there every once in a while. Right. I hear you.
But, you know, it, it's just, I can't get him to leave. I don't know what to do. With Gorilla, I mean, uh, Gangie, why don't you have your daddy rent an apartment for a while and let Gorilla stay with yeah. you for a while? Yeah, why don't your daddy, daddy bail us all out? Yeah, why don't you your daddy bail us out? Come on, daddy. You don't see his yeah. point? No, I see his point, and he should see ours, too. What is your point? What is our point? You made a deal, and you're going no, no, back on it? Our point is, listen, all we're trying to do is, this is exactly... You're this reneging. Is exactly, no, this is exactly the goal. You're reneging listen, on it. Listen. What is the goal? That you can wrestle the apartment no, no, away from John? The goal yeah. is, to make, is to make a conversation or an approach to the management that says, can we switch the lease? That's one. Are you up for that, John? Yes. John agrees. I don't that's, mind that's, it, but the problem is, Howard, it's costing times, you money. That's it's costing me money, and John, and so I don't, why don't so why I'll you, get my you own agree lawyer. to pay his legal bills? He won't. No, I'll get my own lawyer. But see, it's but, my yeah, name. but John has interest it's in this. It's my name. John can't allow your lawyer to represent no, him. No, our. If I got a lawyer. Yeah. This would be the thing. Your lawyer will advocate take, your position. No, right. But not John. You're not taking them. To, you don't well, get you it. Don't you're costing John money. Yeah, and you know what, Howard? So why don't you pay John's John legal bill? It's not. Yeah, John's say you'll yeah. on his legal bill. Because he doesn't John, like John's lawyer. Because John's lawyer is on John's is, side. Right. No. No. Right. Well, I mean, yeah. I, right. Yeah. Right. So your lawyer. It's my place. It's his place. It's my. It's not an issue for you. What I'm advocating is. Grill, Ganji and Grillo still want this place. No, but and Ganji, and as far as I'm concerned, you guys are screwing him up. Yeah, and you know what? No, I don't want them no, as roommates anymore. He, I want them out, and that's he, it. He doesn't understand. He yes, no, does understand. He understands. Well, no, I do he doesn't understand. want you to live there anymore. I do understand. But I don't want you there anymore. I do understand. Don't you understand? I do understand. The lease is yes. still in my name. I don't right. want you there anymore. It's no. my place. I don't want you there. The lease is, is, is supposedly no one's it's name It's still right in now. my name. They don't understand. They don't get it. There's no lease. There is a lease. It is still my lease. If the building wanted to throw me out, they'd have to go to court with me to get right. me out. But it's me, And we're not, not making Ganji. them throw us out. Gingy, listen. No. Jesus Christ. She's not making any sense. Yes. No, you're not no. making any sense. No, I'm making plenty of sense. And you know sure what? You are. Gingy, no. it's going to Yeah, in the court again. I don't want to go to court battles. And he just, he doesn't want any of it. He's, he's going to be a father. So then leave. Then leave and it's no, over. No, it's a conversation. No. One conversation. No, a conversation with, with lawyers costs money. <laughs> don't you understand? They get paid by the the dower. The dower. The dower. The dower. Conversations cost money, dude. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't want to give. I, I, you know. I don't want to go that far. You know, he's gonna be a father. He can't afford you. <laughs> yeah, right. He's got his new kid coming. Uh, can't afford you kids anymore. <laughs> but he, it's Howard, listen. He doesn't understand that lawyers Second cost money. Time. Every every phone call that they make, he doesn't get that. Mm. Every, every, he doesn't care. Every day you take to leave costs me money. So I want you to leave. Yes. Oh. But you won't leave. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about this. What? I'm not talking about. <laughs> now he's oh, now not, you're not no, talking about. I'm not talking about. <laughs> we got rid of Gorilla. <laughs> he won't talk now. Right. Angie now won't Gorilla talk. won't talk. <laughs> and Gangie won't talk. Why don't you make the door light? No, no, no. Believe no. me. His. Jeez, I told you this would be Ooh. a big mess. You know, I thought they were legitimate people. If they could think with their own, I don't understand. This. Here's a big question: What would you do, Gangie? If John weren't your friend, say John was just some guy, and he said, get out, what would you do? Hey, I'd him stay. Too. If his friends were going to come toss your stuff right. out on the sidewalk. I'd sue the pants off of him. Why? Huh? Sue? How can you sue him? It's you his apartment. No it doesn't matter. Oh, I got tons of legal It doesn't standing. matter. Legally speaking, oh, yeah, totally. he's trespassing. No, yeah, legally no, of course. Legally, I'm a tenant. No, All I have to do, I can, you could have a house, I could move in, and I could, and, and, it's my Wait, where is this English law? No, it's yeah, what are you a squatter? You, you mean you can move into my house and I can't help it? Yeah, you can't. You get screwed. The, it, the, what? the courts, the court. From, you know nothing about the law, nor do you know how to explain say. it. You cannot move into my house. You cannot move into my house. Then why is G a girl and, worried about being homeless? Just move into somebody else's house. Just, why don't you just move into someone's house? How come Cato doesn't own half of OJ's house? Right. How come? But Cato, I get you. I guarantee has rights to that pool house. Oh, I guarantee that. You know that you are, you know what college did you graduate from again? <laughs> See, no, this, is, uh, this is what I'm dealing with. I don't right know now. what to do. I don't blame you. I don't know what to well, do. Well, you're a moron. I told you you were when you got involved in this. It's it just I, I thought they would you know think about it. I mean you know like be a friend again. You say hey I don't want to cause the guy any problem. You know you know you know I've been there for a while now I gotta go. That's it. Just Go. If you're his friend, why are you staying and yeah, causing aggravation? Yeah, why are you causing, causing him trouble? Yeah, he oh, says you don't care. Don't, no. You, it's what I'm saying. Now, hold on a second. Why what? are you causing John all this heartbreak and heartache? I, I I don't want to talk about it. I really don't. Oh. You don't really want to talk about it? I really don't. Mm. All right. It's, all right, fine. Don't it, talk about it. It's, it's wow. trying to be worked out where... John has nothing to do with it. That's basically okay. it. But John has nothing. <laughs> <laughs> They're putting John out of his apartment. That's great. <laughs> John's going to be homeless. <laughs> That's the best. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I could care less about the, all three, but I kind of see John's point. Yeah. I, I, I,
Do so you? I'm glad to do it on the Do you guys see? I mean, I feel horrible for Gorilla. I feel, yeah, I me too. I love Gorilla. Money, but you can't, you can't go in front of the you judge and say, but I got nowhere to go. Yeah, I mean, that's, then he shouldn't that's have moved into John's apartment. Argument. See, the thing is, I set it up in the beginning. If there's going to be a problem I, 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 that, that, that you guys you know, will leave with, it, a problem. Yeah, right. but now, you set it up with a guy who has no place to go. And nor does he understand Actually, anything of what you're talking about. He's like, hey, John, you got plenty of money from the stocks. Yeah. Like, like, what's that got to do with anything? I, I hope somebody's keeping Gorilla away from the windows. <laughs> Where is Gorilla? Why is he not here? Know. Come here. Where is he? Um, at, yeah, Abelo's on 260, and Gorilla has locked himself in your office. He's locked oh. himself in my, in my so office. John's lawyer's on the phone, and Gorilla's locked in the office. All right. He's lots of offers for apartments. Apartment. See, Good. offers for apartments. Hey, you guys are okay. Nice There's Why tons of apartments. I'm sorry. But how, you know what's really office? disgusting? I, I, I was doing him a favor. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't know the whole story. Maybe you. Well, here's a great one. There's a room for gorilla only in Astoria for uh, him to live with a 19-year-old son and this woman. Yeah, well, well, that's where he should family. be living. He's part of a family. He's gonna have a room. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. And uh, uh, Gandhi, if you're interested, you can call a guy named Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys again. <laughs> <laughs> now, who is this on hold? That's the, uh, oh, he wants to get on the air? I guess All right, I'd like to talk to him and find out. What he, this guy must be going nuts. So he, he probably doesn't want anything to do with you guys. Probably, probably not. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know your name. It's Ross. Hey, Ross. It's Howard on the phone. How are you? We're on the air. I, uh, I called to tell these guys to stop talking because now, now the other lawyers probably listen to the whole show, and now we, now we can never go to court. All right. Well, stop talking. Yeah. Ross is correct. Go work it out, and let me know what happens. Ross, do me a favor. Come on the air with us when, when, it's, all when it's all over, because I'm sure as someone who went to law school and practiced law, you're probably disgusted with this whole case. Uh, G Ganji, <laughs> G if Ganji would be quiet for a minute, everything would be okay. All right. I, I'll, I'll come I, back on I'm here. shutting up. All right. You shut up, Ganji. And John, you stutter, so no one knows what you're talking about anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Ross. Thanks. All right, guys. Go ahead and leave. I don't Thanks. care less. Thanks. Thanks. You know what? Who cares? Now that that's solved. <laughs> and now how you get Gorilla out of my office? I, I want to know yeah, how am I going to evict him out of my office? office. That's what he did. He just moved into your office. Call him up. I'm not leaving. Is he locked in my office and disrupting work? Let's yeah. talk to him. Talk him out of the office. I don't know my office number. <laughs> I would call. I'm going to sue him to get out. Where is Ross? I want to hire him to get Gorilla out of my office. Evict I'm a gorilla. good tenant in your office. He locked himself in my office? Oh, he's And so I'm not crazy. coming out. Get in here, you little freak. How come there's no food in here? <laughs> <laughs> I love the interns. <laughs> I can follow their 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 travels no matter where. Uh, you feel so sorry for him, but it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he never sees an, a, a solution to a problem. He only sees the problem. But we're and the problem is insurmountable, so he goes and locks himself in the office. <laughs> <laughs> I just want him out of my office. Now I have a problem. No, he's moved in. According to Ganji's law, he now owns that place. Yeah, I like so Ganji's funny. command of the law. <laughs> Explain the whole thing. Yeah. Get the thing clear as mud. Yeah. He got the whole thing. But where am I going to go? No <laughs> yeah, there was like, like I'm out of here. You see the judge like smack. Him. <laughs> hey, Kathy, come in here. Where Where is Gorilla? I want to know who is in my office. We need a number so he can call. <laughs> We need the wireless, Howard. What? We need the wireless to go pound on this door. <laughs> I just don't want to lose my rights to my office. <laughs> You've lost it. Forget it. Yeah. He's, he's in there now. It's his office. I'm in his Guadi's rights. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a pretty good place. I remember you got a couch back there, yeah. a refrigerator, and a microwave. I live on Madison he's Avenue now. <laughs> And I was going to put a new microwave in. <laughs> it's now Casey's. <laughs> Can somebody come in here and tell me where everyone is at? The whole office is, is in an uproar now. <laughs> what? Ganji wouldn't come in because he wanted to get involved in conversation. Yeah. It's okay. extension 305. Oh, thank you. <laughs> your, your entire staff is in your office with cameras and screaming, yelling. At you. Oh, really? Oh, dear. What, how do I get the... Let me see if I can... Do you know the extension? Yeah, yeah, we just got it. Tom has it because Tom's always calling me down there. <laughs> Hello? Is uh, this the Steve Gorillo residence? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Right. Is Mr. Gorillo in? Yeah, hold on. Is Mr. Gorillo in? You, you should hear what's going on here. Hold on. Uh, Hello? Gorillo. Yeah. Now, what are you, locking yourself in my office? No, I didn't lock yourself. I, I, the door happened to be locked. I just needed to cool off for a second. To cool off? Now, you're, yeah. not, you're not saying that that's your office now. Mm, I didn't say this in my office. I shut the door. I didn't know it was locked. Well, I didn't and you locked everyone out. No, I didn't. I didn't know the door was locked. You know your door was locked. Why did you run out of here? Why did you run out of here like a girl? 
Because I am a girl. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, you have a vagina? Yeah. All right, very I good. I have a tampon on right now. Okay, good. Goodbye. Bye. Sitting so there locking himself in my office. Oh, Make it easy dear. For him to get a place what? It'll be easy to get a place to live. If <laughs> no. Here's where those guys live, quite frankly. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I'm not letting those two guys into my house. No, because now you know what Ganji will do. You know what? Let's end up the show so we can go back in the room office and watch the video. Right. we got to go see. <laughs> yeah, watch right. what's happening back there. Go! It's funny that our, our interns have more legal cases than we do. I know. They're always involved with the law. <laughs> they have a team of lawyers. Thank <laughs> And uh, John has like seven it lawyers. Involves a conversation, <laughs> a conversation, one conversation. Yo, you see the Godfather? <laughs> yeah, sounds like a him. conversation. I'm not talking anymore. <laughs> not talking <laughs> anymore. I'm <laughs> dead. <laughs> Who this? Uh -huh. I don't know if you guys tuned in yesterday, but we had a great little argument going. Stuttering John has an apartment, so he let the two guys, Ganji and Gorilla, our interns, move into it with him. Because John mostly is with his girlfriend a lot. Right. He's not there a whole big deal because he's got this other pad he wants yeah. to be at all the time. And so now, now the, 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 uh, the landlord said, hey, we don't want this Ganji and Gorilla in there. So John told them to leave and they won't leave. Well, they want all of them out. Yeah. Because they said, you're on the lease and you're not living here that much. We right. know it. Get out. And then he's like, well, I got these other guys. And they said, get them all. <laughs> Gorilla's so angry about it. Gary said he was walking down the street with Gorilla yesterday. And Gorilla was screaming in the street. And Gary had to walk away from him because he said, I'm not going to walk with you. You sound like a mental patient. He's making a scene. Well, you know, it was funny because John kept saying Ganji was the one who really didn't understand. And I talked to Gorilla after the show. And I went and I pulled John aside. I said, no, Gorilla doesn't understand any better than Ganji does. I don't understand. I don't understand. And I'm going to be homeless. You made money on the deal. Where's... Where am I supposed to live? <laughs> I don't have any way to live. I didn't make money in this dog market. I didn't make any money with this dog market money like you make the money. And, and, and you were making money every month on, on the rent. Where'd that money go? <laughs> Has that been resolved? What, what happened? You just went out to get your lunch, unfortunately. Oh, too bad. But uh, I was with him yesterday. Yeah. And I said, we were walking like three blocks. And I said, listen, I hope you're not mad that I didn't take your side this morning. And it just got him all wound up again. And he started cursing like you wouldn't believe on the streets. You know, Madison Where's Avenue. John? Hey, John, did you get those guys out yet? They're still working on it. Oh, yeah? His little face gets red, and then oh. he's going bald, so the and top of his head turns red. he can't think of anything red. but curse words yeah. at a certain point. Well, you're right. <laughs> That's the hell, Volker. Where's Ganji? He's so stressed. Ganji wouldn't even speak about it after the show. Really? No coming. No, Ganji's on the phone with those lawyers. Now? I mean, no, he's just, that's his big thing. That, right. You know, you know what I mean? And, and then Gorilla was complaining to me this morning that your lawyer didn't call his lawyer. Well, my lawyer's waiting for a response from the place, you know, but it, it's just, I, I don't know what to do. What is it? Ganji's refusing, refusing to come in. Yeah. He's refusing to come in? Oh, 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 oh please. I'll go take care of that. Go ahead. No comment. You know, like you Tell him he's becoming more worthless every day. <laughs> you, you now, now, many, now he has something to talk about, and he won't talk about it. You, you, know, you know how many faxes we've gotten in, you know, in, in support of me and telling me what, what an idiot is. Ganji's kind of a spoiled kid. Well, that's what it is. And no, you, Ganji's always gotten his own way. If he right. pouts, then he gets his way, and that's what he's trying on John. Right. He's pouting. But I did him a favor. <laughs> And now they slap me in the face over it. You're a sucker, John. You never should have gotten started with Ganji. I could have told you that. Well, now we learn. You know, Ganji's a kid who's gotten handed everything in life. Why would Why would he not expect to throw a tantrum and get what he wants? I thought he would respect. You know, what's the plan, Ganji? To keep throwing a tantrum until John gives in? I'm not, but I'm John not, can't give in. I'm not going to say anything. Why? Say anything. What's going on? I don't want to say anything. Because you know you're wrong. No. My lawyer no. told me to hush up. No. Your lawyer. No. Why don't you get? Why don't you fire all your lawyers and just leave? Like OJ. No. Just get out. <laughs> well, that was the whole thing with Gorilla. He can't just get out. Right. You know, well, I'm making a call. Time. It's funny because I said to him, I said, hey, Steve, you know what? This happens to people all the time. A couple of, you know, you can go sit, stay with your friend Andy. John said you could stay two weeks. You can get two months worth of places to stay. And he goes, I have a lot of stuff. CDs, a bed, a stereo. I can't afford storage. Clumps of hair. And not only that, he starts screaming to me that he really likes this place. It's perfect for him. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it's probably perfect for a lot it's of people. two cents a day. Yeah. <laughs> like bachelor's land. It's very hard to give it up. What are you going to do, John? You're screwed with these guys. Um... You're screwed. Uh, you know, well, are you friends I, with Ganji ever again? I, 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 I don't, I don't ever think so. I think I did him a real good favor. I think he's, he 
he's 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 now pretty much told me that to go f myself. No. Really? And uh, and is that what you told him, Gange? Did you tell him to f I himself? Didn't do that? Uh, no, I didn't say it. I didn't say Not in those words. words. You don't care? Wasn't he a friend? I mean, didn't John even get you the job here? Not only that, I, there's been plenty of things that I've John, John got, uh, but he didn't know me. I oh. wasn't. I was. I was. But I didn't no, but, know but, John no, before. No, I, got I do have to here. say that when Gange came up the first time, he had sweaty palms. Yeah. And I didn't like him because it weirded me out. Yeah. And and John said, "Hey man, take a second look at him. He's a pretty good guy." And it was John. No, no, John really, didn't know me. He said, "Yes, I got." John saw your resume, and John goes, "You know what? He's like one of the best guys we've had. Don't let the sweaty palms throw you off. Hire the guy." I like watching Gangy trying to get away from Gary's breath while <laughs> Gary talks into that microphone, <laughs> right? And no place to go. <laughs> you, you were trapped. <laughs> you have no place to go for my breath and no place to live. <laughs> <laughs> so Gangy, what do you, what's the plan here? Just to keep throwing uh, a tantrum? I I'm not throwing. Get John tantrum. into more legal I'm bills. Not I'm throwing tantrums. Gangy, do you have any Are you a, planning a, to at go? all remorse that I'm involved in now paying a lawyer to try and? Um, you know, uh, you know, fix the situation. Did, 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 you know, does it even cross your mind that it's costing me money and costing me agita, costing me problems? Does it, you know, does, does it even come into your mind for a second? Yeah. And then, it, and then, it, and then and it goes away. It goes right away. Yeah. <laughs> and for a second. And did now. you call your dad, Ganji? Oh sure, yeah. yeah. Thought, Maybe your dad can just give you some more money and get what you. What did your dad say? He hasn't yeah. given me money in years. <laughs> oh, I say. My dad said, sue, sue him. Say, so, sue who? No, John? No, was, Why don't you sue John? That's a good idea. That was just a joke. No, it wasn't. You have been screaming no, lawsuit. Oh, oh, that was no joke. No, no, he's been no, running around here. An option no, his, no. You know, right from the get-go. sue you. He, and you know what? He would sue you if I didn't step in and start explaining the world. Howard, you know what? If you didn't step in, these guys would continue to think that they're right. Right. He still thinks he's right. I know. a joke. Do you absolutely think you're right in this situation? Yes. And Gorilla is also running around screaming about his rights. Yeah. Well, he the, has where's rights. my rights? Tenant rights. Well, the other <laughs> big thing rights. is that when these guys moved in with John, you know, there's the rent is X amount of dollars. Mo John made a very modest, I mean, incredibly modest profit off them. Right. Which about is fine. Like maybe a month. Maybe 150, 200 a month. So Gorilla goes. Two hundred a month. What are you doing with that money? And it's like, but you know, Howard, man, whose business is it? What he, he, he feels that since money. John made a profit, he's retiring. Him, since oh, that's John made what a profit, John invested. Gorilla yeah. now owes him. Oh. Oh. And you know what, Howard? I could have got a lot more than that. Oh, no. Gorilla's on the phone. Howard, I could have got a lot more than that. People from Kathy offered me more. Gorilla, you actually calling in? Yeah. What's up? I'm at the cafe getting your lunch. Oh, go ahead. Lunch. Um, you want no, to I, look, I don't want any problems with him, and I really don't want him to hassle. And I told him that in the beginning. But what I didn't understand was that yesterday, all of a sudden. It was like now you have to get out. When all along it was like, well, let's see what happens with you know the thing. Well, he tried. Going on he did. On. He did an honorable thing. He tried. It's, it's, it's still not hashed out. You know, what, you know, the lawyer is still trying to find out what's coming back from the. Uh... But the but the problem is, you guys are reluctant to leave. No, I'm not reluctant to leave. I want to find out first what's going on. If you guys just, if you guys just left, he wouldn't have any of these hassles because no, you good. guys promised him you would leave if he had a problem. Right, exactly. You guys I know, broke your look, promise. It, it, first of all, I don't know. He, he's he's kept in the dark the whole time. What has been going on exactly? Because he didn't even know, like the John. What is going on? Explain Howard, it to him. Howard, the truth of the matter is, what where, where Grillo, I guess, forgets a lot of information that I gave him and Ganji, is that when I got the letter of eviction. I told them both. Listen, it looks like you guys are going to have to leave. Right. Uh, I'm I'm trying to see if I can work it out, but you might have to leave. Right. Then I get these arguments about squatting rights and no, all no, this right, stuff. Right. Right. No, no, no. So 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 it immediately squatting John, rights. Yes. John, John, been, you know, John, in other words, the answer should have been, well, if we got to, it's like if I had a friend stay over my place and I let him stay crash there for a couple of months or a year or two years, and then I said I want you to leave. These guys are saying, no, we have a right to your house. And you yeah, know how they it's, truly want John to have to evict them. Yeah. And, 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 <laughs> Like, this is incredible. And, you know what, this is the funniest thing I ever heard. It's like total disrespect. And after I told... And guys, you got to have expected it. I didn't hear from John's mouth until yesterday that we had to, to go. So, yeah. so, I didn't hear anything from him. All right, like now that you heard it, when are you leaving? I, it, as, soon as, as soon as the lawyer comes back and says, okay, they, you know, the building... Because it's the, 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 the lawyer's still talking to the people over at uh, the building. John, if you had, to, had it to do over, would you do them another favor? I would never. And I, and I tell anyone in this, in this building, and, and everyone's come up to me and said, John, like, including you guys, like, you know, how crazy these guys... Yeah, but John, you're, you're always into making things so much worse than they already are, you know? It's just like, why do you got to turn everybody against us? Bro, no, one's, you? no one asked. I didn't tell anybody. I know, but what, you, what, you go 
going around to other people in the building. Talking no, about everyone's coming up to me, Grillo, and saying, you know, John, I, I'm amazed at, at these two guys. Everybody. Who's everybody? Name them. Name names. Howard, That's what you always on here. Robin, Jack. No, all right, besides Brett. this room, because they like to instigate to get this on the air. But no, no, is that what you think? I'm not, I'm being, I'm, listen, I'm like Judge Walker. <laughs> Kathy, um, my, uh, my point. Uh, every fax that comes in, every phone call that comes in. Uh -huh. um, okay, so you're not naming any names. I just did. You, you did. named everybody in this room. Kathy, Richard, uh -huh. um, uh, Doug, Goodstein. Uh -huh. But then how come everybody <laughs> on the same side comes to us and says, John's being unreasonable, no. John's being crazy. There's one person who's doing that, and I know who it is. And, 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 who is? Eric, you know, he's a uh -huh. big supporter. But, uh -huh. but you know, like... Oh, uh, Eric never said anything to me. Well, well may, hopefully one day Eric will invite a friend to stay over and he'll yeah. never leave. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but, with Eric, so you, know, you know what, it doesn't matter. All I'm saying, guys, is even if, even, even if like, all these guys who we respect, Howard, I respect Fred, all these guys who we respect, and they tell you guys how wrong you are, you still don't see but John, you just told us yesterday. <laughs> but John, you just told us yesterday. Yeah, but you're still reluctant to leave. No, I'm not reluctant to leave. I want to find out first if, 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 if we have any type of, you know, if we have any time that we he can stay before say we can get out, for one, and for two, if we can get the lease over here in our name anyway. Gorilla, he didn't say maybe anymore. He said you have to leave. But they still didn't find out from the lawyer. Yeah, he he wants you to leave. Yeah, I just went you guys you have Steve, to leave. Steve, weeks ago when he told you there was a chance you guys might have to move out, did you make any plans or, or think about it at all? Like no. any kind of Gage, he contacted his lawyer and said, yeah. uh, we have squad, it's right. I mean, Howard, they start telling me to send the letters to their lawyer. No, I... You know, it's yeah. like... Well, dude, wait, wait, wait. With your name. No, I, it's like, it's, it's, it's my problem. You right. know what I mean? But it's my problem, too. No, it's not no, it's your not. problem. It's not your problem. That's John's problem. He's on the lease. You're not. And you know when you're not on a lease that you're going to have this problem eventually, and now it's here. I mean, I did you guys a favor. You had a nice run of it. You know, a nice cheap place for a long time. Right. I mean, give me a break. Now it's time you got to leave. Now you got to go to the real world. <laughs> they won't do it. You know what I mean? They you won't do it. kick them out. They're like your children now. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to reality. And I've been very nice to Ganji over the years. And same with Grill. I, it's, it's like amazing. I guess we never done anything nice no, for you either, John, right? Really I, do. I, I, how many times have I done things for you? No, no, did I help you no. and your girlfriend move? Grill, no one. Yeah, and, and did I pay you? What, 20 bucks? Hey, 20 bucks. Well, I didn't even watch him. Hey, I, guy, I, I did a job for my friend. I yelled about money. money. I friend that I yeah. did for a favor. This guy yelled about money, so I give him. Grill, I didn't say you didn't. I said, I've been very nice to you. I didn't say you guys haven't been nice to me. Yeah, but but you're making it seem like you're the greatest guy in the world. Meanwhile, we're just as nice to you. How did I say that? I'm just saying I've been very nice to you guys. I don't. I don't Here's the way I see it. Yeah. John basically has this apartment. He says you, he says to you guys, okay, if you want to use my apartment, okay, you can stay there. If I have any problem, you got to leave, and you guys agree to that, and you guys know you're basically not even tenants. You're not legal you, at you all. You know, why don't you just go get an apartment with leases, but you didn't want to do that, and you knew what you were doing, and now John's getting a headache and wants to wants you guys out of there, and you guys won't leave. That's the way I see it. I mean, maybe I'm nuts. I'm not doing it to instigate anything. If I saw it the other way, I would tell you. Howard, you know what? Off the air, you had, that, you had the same exact opinion. You know, it isn't like you're just doing this. Yeah. Before the year. I mean, days. I feel bad for Gorilla. I, don't, I love Gorilla. I don't want to see him uh, in bed. I don't want to see Ganji. I even told Gorilla if he wanted to stay, you know, you know, my girlfriend's place for two weeks, it's fine. Right. You know what I mean? You know, it's like I'm, it's, I'm not trying to be mean to the hey, guy. you got a real problem. <laughs> <laughs> see, if I was the judge, I would just say, these two guys have no right to the apartment. Leave. But no, Leave. But, you know, they're all set to squat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I know. They're going to fight you and you know, yeah, yeah, and like, fight you know, everyone. And they don't understand that when they say, well, we're waiting to see. There's no that, waiting. John doesn't want to wait to see. He doesn't care. But that's what John's lawyer said. You know, he, said, he, said, he said that, hold on, I'm still talking to them. Let's see. Yes, we'll, but I, John doesn't want to pay a lawyer. Yes. And, and, and that's what, like, Eric and everyone. John's seems, lawyer is the problem. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't want to have a lawyer. Yeah, everyone seems to forget that every day we wait. What do you pay the lawyer? Uh, you know, he's, I mean, he told me a couple hundred dollars already, and I'm unlike the So, you know what, he did, I, I, I. Right, I think Gorilla and Genji want to pay for that lawyer. I would pay for him. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't, you know what, Howard, it's just, it's, it's you know, it's my name. Send me his legal bills from right. Right. yesterday it's, on. But girl, you understand, it's my name, it's my hassle, it's it's me. You want to be done with it. You know, they're threatening to charge me for their lawyers. Right. I mean, who knows what that, you know, you know, uh, you know, know, bill could be. Well, they Angie, don't care. Really Angie care. walks around like, hey, John's being, a, you know, an, an idiot. But no one seems to even take take into consideration that I'm, I'm under a lot of, you know, Angie, you're uh, being awfully quiet over there. Anything to say in your defense? Squatting, squatting is such a low-life thing to do, right. period, right. let alone to a friend. Yeah. Just to do it, period. I know. It sucks. It's, Genji, you know. any, any uh, retort here? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Not at this I, moment. I'm talking. Genji's retorts are all off the air when he's, you know, no. like, oh, I'm going to stay, and, you know, and, and, he, and he's on the no. phone with, you know, with his lawyers. Did you say you're going to stay? Mean? No, no, I, this is exactly what I said. I'll give you a real They have two months I to said, throw us out. It's I legal. Said, they have, no, you know, I said, this is exactly what I said. Would you shut up? I said that Ross is supposed to get an answer. Right. 
The lawyer. The, the lawyer. Let's get the answer. Right. That, that's all I want. That's all I want. That's, that's, said, that's all I want either. How, 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 and then, John doesn't want to have a lawyer. No, I don't even want to do this. And then Genji goes, well, and then if... if you, but he we, could have an answer yesterday. And then Genji goes, well, then if we do get a lawyer, it's legally that they can't throw us out until at least two or three months. Uh -huh. So now they want to stay there, have me get into this problem. They right. don't care. Just as long as Genji's big fat ass is sitting in like that apartment, he doesn't give a crap about me. Right. You, I got to tell you, though, everyone's been calling. You guys are coming across as the, the world's two most ungrateful guys because here you are you got in a situation you knew what it was up front right. John did you a favor instead of looking back on it and saying wow we had a we good got, role we had a good role yeah, but we paid we're... hardly any rent you know we, John let us live with him for, you know, for, for dirt cheap I mean look at, think about what it'll cost you to live in Manhattan so instead of saying, hey, the guy helped us out, thanks a lot, shake his and hand we're and go, on our way. you're making his life miserable. And, and it's like, I'm making his life miserable. And it's we're like, not, you know what, Howard? For two weeks, this guy John, sounds like he's miserable. And Howard, John was saying that he was he was going to take care of it. He was going to find out what's going on. He was going to do this. And now all of a sudden, it, yeah, yeah, I, I didn't want to leave. But, but you I, know I, what, I asked Mike? you yesterday to leave. Now John what? found out. It's no, a big mess. It's a mess. He wants. He did find out. He doesn't want to anything. He found out that he wants you out. I told you guys, I was arguing with you yesterday about it. I mean, two days ago, telling you, Ganji got to lead. Ganji's giving me all these lawyer statistics and all this crap. Right. I, don't, I don't need to hear. It's illegal stuff. And it's like, you know, and, and then, and, and then Ganji, <laughs> keep in mind, and Howard, right. all I want to say is keep in mind, people, other people wanted to live there and offer me a lot of and money to live there. The and I said no. They don't be, and I said no. Because, because be I felt bad situation. for these guys. I no, was because bad. technically you offered it to us, to, to, to us first. Ga Grillo, you were never even in the pictures. So oh, that's right. You offered it to Ganji first. Yes. Well, well, you know, you and then Ganji sorry. screwed up. I said, I don't want to give it to him. So then, that's my decision. But then I said, you know what? Sounds I, pretty complicated, huh, Robin? Bad. I feel bad. Don't you love Ganji. arguments? Absolutely. I said, and I, I told him this was coming. Yeah. He didn't and believe me. I told you these guys would be like I felt this. bad for him. I gave him a nice deal. Look, they had a nice not place. not talking anymore. Right. It's just... <laughs> it's just right. Oh, the friendship's <laughs> over. Yeah. But it's just... it's just, it's. just. I think it's just totally, like, how can I say it? Sleazy to do this. I feel bad for them that they have to exit so quick, but you, when you're a, when you're a squatter, so to speak, you've got to be prepared to exit. That's right. You got to grab your bags and run. Nobody you know, told you to furnish a, the place. It's a month to month deal. <laughs> uh, all gorilla conspiracy. I got a lot of stuff there. Yeah, like that's CD. Yeah, but if someone told you, Robin, to get out of your apartment today, get out. What would you do? You get, get out. out. Yeah, but <laughs> she, uh, she, but she, but she put her name on a lease. She doesn't have to get out. I'm not talking about a lease. I'm talking about hypothetically. Okay. All right. Uh, hypothetically, you get out of your you place yesterday. What would you do? Like, Robin's staying over my house. I invite her into my house. Okay. Right, no, 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 start over again. Robin was living at your house for a year. Okay, and Robin's living at my house house for a year. A year's worth of stuff. I would never right. accumulate stuff Everything. in my house. And I'll say to Robin, hey, Robin, guess what? A guy from a bank just told me, I got to get you out of here or I else I'm Howard, stuck. Thank you. I don't want to cause you any hassle. Yeah. I'm out, man. I mean, it's, you know, the party's over. I got to kick you out. I don't want to kick you out. I, I wish I owned the apartment and I could. Uh, thank you for your we'll hospitality so far. And right. Yeah. No, thank you. No, like, Eric, you know, John, I understand you're going to a lot of problems. We'll get out. Nothing. How first of all, I would love to say thank you to you if you weren't so, like, angry about everything you ever said about But you're this, angry. You know, no, I'm not the, no, I didn't even ask for a thank you. Oh, I just asked for you guys to leave. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Yeah, you guys, you just, I, I, I don't care. Here's, I don't here's, here's your choice. He can, Gorillo, Gorillo can stay and thank you or leave and not I don't thank care. you. I don't care if you guys say F you. Just leave. I don't care. I, you know, it doesn't matter to me. Shanji, anything? Yeah. Not you're not leaving, goes, right? I just you're I just, not leaving. Genji will go up. I'm not saying. How you know what it is? Genji goes off the you know off the air. He'll go sit in his room, call his lawyer, right? Get all <laughs> these all these statistical information. Right. Go, you know, we'll, we'll, we have the right to say it until April first. Like Eric was just telling me, April first. They can't bring out in, in like. Yeah, the winter. Yeah. It's not. It's not that issue anymore. Yeah, it's like it's, it's, it's my hassle. I want you to get out. Right. I don't care what, what what anyone says to you. I want you. Are out. you two thinking of packing, or you're not even thinking about it yet? No, sure, no, sure. You are thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to think about it. I'm too tired to do it. My lawyer says I don't have to. And you know, they don't even feel guilty about this. They feel it's like it's, it's like you know. Gorilla, do you feel right. guilty about it? No. I. You, you know what? I, I. I. I told John I didn't want a problem to begin with. It just. It, no one seems to understand like how. I, 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 like, I don't want to seem like I'm um, like it's just like I got, I've got school, this job, and a play, and now all of a sudden I got to move every piece of no, thing but, that I yeah, own to someplace else, and I don't like. How, I, I, I don't went from John. I mean, no, Howard, John's got a baby on the way. <laughs> right. When my lease yeah, was but up, the baby coming tomorrow? Come on, man. When my lease was up, oh, I moved out. Well, what, I, what was that? What do you say? The baby's not coming tomorrow. I know, but like I'm saying, I gotta be out tomorrow. He says, yeah. But that has nothing but to do you, with the you, baby. You sort of tomorrow. must have known that when you got involved in this wacky situation. You know, he says it's out of the blue. Two weeks ago, you knew problems had come up. It's not. And we were waiting to see what was coming. You were sitting around waiting. 
the that truth is, you should have been making. You, you, you should have been making phone calls that day. Yeah. But yeah, also, but also, situation. but also, you know, can't you load all your stuff up into a car? But Howard, even when I told him two weeks ago, there was arguments. It was like, oh, well, don't worry, man. Well, you know, you know, you know, send it over to our lawyer. You know, it's like what you got to do is, you want my advice, Gorilla? You and Gange, if you get another place, you got to sign a lease so that you have protection. I would love to. But Howard, here's the simple thing that I want to ask. I want to ask Gorilla. He was complaining yesterday that he's got so much stuff, you know, and he can't move it and everything. Yeah, John, I can't move it. But listen to me. Why don't you sell if, your stuff? If John wasn't your landlord, right, you had you another landlord, and your landlord said, get out tomorrow. You what do would it. you do? But, uh, do you want me to tell you the truth? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I will get out out of respect for John. No, but okay. no, 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 wait a minute. That's Gary, a, hold on a second, that's Gary. That's not the Gary. question. That's Gary. not the question. I, I'm going to get to that, okay? Out of respect for John, I will leave. But there is laws against landlords just throwing you out of an apartment. Maybe he's not a landlord. And, and, I know. But I want to I would go. I don't go into that legal battle, don't you get it? But, but, but it's not a legal battle. battle. It's not a legal battle. It's a matter no, of... No, 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 no. Gorilla, it is. Gorilla, listen to me. He doesn't run. understand that those are laws. John, while you're having the battle, John is on the lease. It's not really your battle. Why I'm gonna leave? Okay. Right. Of course. But he said if this was another landlord. But, that but how about Ganji? Now, now, so no, Drill's gonna leave. Now, Ganji, well, how about you? Oh, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay. And, and I'm gonna stay with that girl. You know, I mean. Oh yeah. Well, I'm, well, I'm sorry. When are you leaving? No, no. I'm just trying to Believe find out. Me, so you're not going staying, right? Yeah, I'm staying. They you're all staying. want to stay in waste. Can't you stay? Gorilla's staying too. Believe me, Gorilla's staying. Yeah, right. Gorilla's lying to you when he says, out of respect for John, he would leave. That's what he said. I would leave. Are you but leaving, Gorilla? I'll go. Where are you I'll, going? I'll get the frig out, all right? When is that? And, and then if, I, if I'm not at work for a week, then I don't know what to yeah, tell you I because right. I'm going to be finding some place to live. All right, I'll find somebody else. What are you threatening me? I'm not threatening you, but that's going to be the reality of the situation. All right. Girl, I left one. My, my place in in two days. You move right out. So if you have to leave, you can't find another place. Yeah, but to that, go that means I have to take. Out. Okay, but you know what this 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 means? Yeah, it means you got to do a nice work. Pay, that means I got to pay a mover. That means I got to pay the story. Oh my God! No, wait a minute. Help? But I'm explaining to you why this is so difficult. You don't hey, have with cars. Gorilla, can I get my lunch first oh, before you leave? Wow. <laughs> But see, you don't have a friend with a car. You don't have five friends who can help All you. You're in a big jam. Call and move. I'll help you. I'll move. And with then you. secondly, I gotta take off from the plane now, and and, and that's a, a lot of money. It's like four hundred dollars. Are you in the, in the place seven days a week? What? You're in the place seven days a week? No, that means I have to take off Friday. No, no. What Saturday days are you on? Sunday. What? What days are you off from the play? Monday and Tuesday. Okay, right, next Monday, Monday I'll help you move. Okay, but you want this out now? So you get out. You move out Monday. Monday. That's fine. Monday's Monday. Friday. The That's thing fine. is, you never gave us a day to get out. You just I, said get you out. You know what? I wanted you out yesterday, but but if, if you get out on Monday, because I don't want you to lose your job. Leave Monday. That's fine. Then, then that's fine. Okay. Uh, if, if that would have been the case in, in the beginning. <laughs> oh, okay. So then get out Monday. That's fine. Now you got the other guy. And what do you you got the job of the hut over there. <laughs> he ain't moving. He's a job of the hut. So Barnacle Ganji. <laughs> what are you going to do, Ganji? Barnacle Ganji. All right, Ganji. And now Grillo's leaving, so what are you going to do there? Uh, I'll be I'll be living at 600 Madison Avenue. <laughs> you know, he can easily go back grown. home to his mommy. You know? Yeah, of course. No, no, I can't, I can't easily go back home because then I'll be getting up at uh, three in the morning to get uh, to work, and I'm not but, doing but, that. But but but, but Gange, it's not my concern what you do from here on. That's what I'm saying. You have to get up at three in the morning. Gee, that's horrible. But you know what? It's not about the impossible. It's no. all about the inconvenience that's that right. now that's be causes. Because you used to get up at three o'clock in the morning. Right. right. No, but now he's. I was ready to commit Harry Carey because I was getting up at three o'clock. Well, you're not talking about forever. You're talking about for a short time while you fix this problem. Yeah. Well, I, I understand. No, he can't be inconvenienced. For yeah. a minute. Be inconvenient. Damn it. <laughs> so, Ganji, uh, are you going to be leaving? Um, yeah, next Friday. <laughs> Some no, uh, no, yeah. I'll leave. All right, Ganji's leaving. Well, 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 just, just, just so we have it, you know, documented. You know, on what day is that, Ganji, that you'll be leaving? Uh, <laughs> next Friday. Next Friday. No, I, 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 this hopefully this weekend. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. Why don't you guys go discuss this yeah. off the air and then be intelligent no, no, about it? No, because I don't. I don't I'm, I'm not trying to be John intelligent. Anymore. You're not talking to John anymore. No, I mean, I have to work with him, so obviously, you know. You know see, look, relationship see how with he's him. mad at me. He no, thinks no, no, I'm, 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 just, I'm doing you know, something no, wrong no. to him. My life would be so much easier not to deal with John for the rest of my life. Right. You know what I mean? Like every time you deal with John, it's a problem. It's a problem. Right. Always, always has <laughs> been okay. doing your favors and stuff. That's why you pull me aside whenever you want to have a serious conversation and you need my advice. You pull me aside all the time. But then, right, Gangi? You know what? You know what you want. 
sure. little mad now. Sure, no, Mr. no, 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 no. I've no. After all the time, I you pulled me aside and had little sure, I've asked heartfelt you conversation. I've, sure, I've now you're gonna pull it aside and say that I'm an idiot. No, all right, no. Kendrick. What I'm saying is, unbelievable. What I'm saying is, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the couple times that you're nice. I've done you a favor. This is a favor that was done to you that you are abusing, and now you're saying I'm the idiot. What I'm saying is, you're unbelievable. Every conversation I ever have with you, that's not me pulling you aside and say, hey, John, man, I need a I need to ask you a question. You know what I mean? Like every other conversation is you either like you know. Oh, we've uh, had so many good being, times, being Ganji. Being the ass most of the Ganji, time. Ganji, we have it's had so many. You know what? It's your loss. And fine, and don't talk. You know what? Don't talk to me ever again. It's fine with me. It's your loss. I've been nothing but nice to you. Fine. Sh and you come over your place for parties and stuff. Yes, I. I it's just amazing to me. I. I, I mean. We, 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 with the exception of high school, uh, high school high drinks, like I'm calling the fat bass. But, but on all the serious notes of, of us hanging out, I've always been nice to you, cordial, and I've always been helpful. Always. Whenever you needed a favor, do it for you. I'm not saying you would do the same for me, but I'd always be there for you. Right. So, so you're saying I never did anything for you? I just said I'm not saying you never did anything for, anything for me. I just said that. I'm saying I, it's been a nice friendship. <laughs> Oh, Jack, that's very funny. But you know, all right, all right. Oh boy. Uh, um, anyway, Howard. Yeah. Can we ask people on the air if anybody has an apartment that they can call in or yeah, something? Yeah, they want to deal with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You yeah. really hey, give yourself good reference. Listen, references. listen. We we never had any problems. We never had any big parties, and we always paid our rent on time. What? There's an offer out there that Gorilla knows about. It's a good start. Right. You know, Gumper works in the back. Yeah. He's you know in the Marines. He's in the reserve. Yeah. He's leaving us for two weeks. He's got to go do maneuvers. So he said these guys could use his apartment. <laughs> Really? We'll never get him out, though. <laughs> Howard, we are staying. Howard, Doug offered Grillo a place for only like a, like a, a hundred fifty dollars more a month, and Grillo was like arguing about it. Really? Well, you know what? It's not exactly easy to live in the budget I have, okay? Uh, <laughs> but but uh, Gorilla, this is real God, life. You have if you're going to support yourself and be an adult, you have it's to do easy it. Easy to live on a budget. It's not John or anybody else's problem. How difficult it is. I'm not asking you, but you know what? He's going to bring these things up, and nobody else is taking into consideration no, what my life's going to be like. That you have to uh, pay for yourself. This is like That's friends. That's what everybody does. This is like uh, the show Friends. <laughs> yeah, friends from hell. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy to stretch a budget. What's that song? Making friends. What, how's that go? The friends song? I don't Making know. friends for the world to see. No, no, no. The, the, the new song or that the, TV, the TV show. show oh, I don't song. know that song oh. that well. I'll be there for you. Right. I'll be there for you. And the world needs a friend. I'll be there for you. Never so Gorilla's I'm mad at Stuttering John because he, he's never mad at him. I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at him. I just I'm think mad. it's like... What are you screaming it, for? Because I, I, this is the way I talk. <laughs> yeah, which is... Gorilla, something tells me with your skills, you're going to have budget problems your whole life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get used to it, man. This is only the beginning. Yeah, he thinks this is an unusual experience. You're going to be Donald Trump in five years. Not true. You'll see. I'll make a lot of money. Okay. Yeah, he'll just sue somebody that he lives with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Live from no. Sue hey, no offense. Where's my lunch? It's sitting right next to me. Yeah, well, get, get the hell off the phone. Well, we'll stop creating this problem. <laughs> no, come on, come on. Get out of here. This soup must be ice by now. I'm, I'm starving. Is it hot? No, Hurry up. Yeah. Get back here. Get Hurry up. I need an apartment, preferably up on, on the Upper East Side. And uh, if anybody has anything of it. All right. <laughs> So Would you give him a bar? Upper East Side. Where's the guy with no budget live on the Upper East Side? In Johnson, a great, that's the yeah. thing. They had a great location. Right. They, had, they, they could walk to work. They you had everything going them. for them. You Go live with the Puerto Ricans. Go live with the Puerto Ricans up on 104th. Harlem. I'm waiting for Gorilla to ask for something with a water view, some yeah. exposure. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> like a place to park my yacht. fireplace. <laughs> yeah. Please, 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 please. Upper East Side. I would like a helipad. <laughs> Luxury door. Did you, where are you looking? Upper East Side? Howard Bruce. Upper East Side. It was weird, you know, Kathy. Kathy had, you know, wanted the place yeah. and, and offered me, you know, more money. She really, and I gave it to these guys, but Kathy would never give me this problem, you know. Right. She would have left. She would, you know, have respected me. Right. Even gonna, Kathy turned to them the other day and said, when this similar thing happened to her, she just had to get out. Yeah, I mean, that's, the, that's unfortunately, when you get into a wacky arrangement like that, although the money's good, you got to be prepared at a moment's notice to give it up. Right. You know, I know what Ganji's saying. He was hoping that maybe you could talk to them and right. maybe work something <laughs> out, but you're not interested in doing that. I just want it that, uh, You just want it to go I, away. I, yeah, but it's I, not I, a matter of talking to real people. It's lawyers talking to lawyers. Right. It's, it's no longer... It's not a conversation you no. can have with the landlord one-on-one. -on -one. It's lawyers who are now involved. Yeah. And already it's becoming too much of a hassle. And you tried. You made an effort. I made a good effort. All right. Genji still feels like he's wrong. Yeah, not he good enough. enough. John's I just, not letting I just, them win. I see no, it in no, his no, eyes. No, no. I, it's I, the I wait and see, Mr. Genji. I, I just... I don't know. I don't... I, I just don't know if I can believe that John made an effort. Oh, my God. No, no, I, I don't know. Oh, my 
God, I don't know. It's unbelievable. Because, you know, like, he pushed it off for so long. Well, he only wants to do so much of an effort. No, I mean, he really right, doesn't he care. It off, right, exactly. He right. pushed it off for so long for those two weeks. Pushed and, it off? Uh, I had lawyers and talking conversations. For those two weeks? Yes. You never told us that. What? Those, you know what I mean? Like, no, calm down. You know, what do you think has been going on for the last two weeks, Ganji? It's no, been this, constant phone calls and conversations, letters being sent. You know what's so funny about this? I could turn this whole conversation around and make John the guilty oh, party. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just as easy. Just as easy. Uh, don't even say that, because he'll he, he, he's no, gonna leave thinking no, that. <laughs> That's tomorrow. I just don't want it to end. <laughs> don't worry, I'm sure. I want him to stay there for the next uh, seven months. <laughs> I'll pay him to stay. <laughs> Get, get the sheriff to throw me out. Yeah, like I'll get Cameron. They'll be like the real world. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the best television show in the country. <laughs> guys killing each other. All right, you guys go work it out. Yeah. It's hysterical. Okay, I love it. We'll call it like real, real stupid world. Right. <laughs> real, <laughs> real, real world. You know what the worst part of this whole thing is for me? What? Is that Ganji can handle it, but Gorilla now, you know, he's going to come back and he hates me for like a week. Right. Because I didn't side with him. Right. He gets really offended. I, you by couldn't it. even talk to Gorilla around here yesterday. Well, come back. I mean, I know. you know, he's sulking everywhere he goes. I don't blame him. I mean, it's upsetting to be leaving your place, but that's but the we that's didn't life. Do it. Right. Don't sulk at me. Right. Busy. You're busy. I don't have time for smoking. Right. You know, and then he bitches and complains, and then he's, uh, he sees me leaving and goes, you going uptown? You going home? Then I'll you get a ride with place. you. Yeah. He doesn't even have to, you know what? Transportation has been free. Yeah, everything. everything. has been free. How long till he ends up on your couch? Oh, oh. never. <laughs> never. Can I just leave with the guests? We're all going to be there. Then Is there any chance these guys could take over the lease? I don't think so. No. I mean, I don't think that, you know, not the place is that interested. In. Right, unless it's a protracted battle. You know, and I'm and I'm not, and that's why and who everyone lives in a place where you had to battle to stay there. Right. And everyone's like, I'm not into fighting any any battles right now. You right, know what I mean? Right. Right. Cool. Welcome to fatherhood, Jeff. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Gan. No, you know what? I, Don't even I, say it. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, fatherhood's a whole nother trip. No, I, I can't wait to hear those. <laughs> can't wait to fight the battle with your wife that you can never win. Yeah. The battle, the battle where you can't go out anymore. That's right. You think this is frustrating? I, you know what? I'd entertain that, considering after, after this nightmare. I pray for weekends when everyone goes away. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. Maybe we'll invite you over our new party place. Uh, let me tell you something. I'd love to be there. <laughs> Thank you. All right, go ahead. Go okay. back and, and stare at each other all day and, and give each other dirty looks. Yes, yeah, so you, you bastard. Feet. You suck. You suck, you bastard. You could have gotten us the place. You would, You didn't try. You You're a lawyer for two weeks. I, I can't me. believe you tried. I have rights. You're poison. You didn't try. No effort. <laughs> what? No effort. <laughs> no no effort. effort. I don't think John made an effort. <laughs> it's not like the baby's going to be born tomorrow. <laughs> No effort. <laughs> well, you know, I, and, and you know, I also had that conversation with the girl. I'm like, listen, I don't want. It's, it's even you know, my name when I go to get a new place. Right. Wanna, you don't need don't any be, of this. I don't want to be in this like you know blacklist. They right. don't care. They don't care. They don't give a crap. No. Well, why would they care? Their names aren't involved. Yeah, exactly. The yeah. Day, the girl said, "Give your kid Angie a different last name." Yeah, yeah, Angie yeah. doesn't care, and even if his name was involved, his dad will bail him out. I know. Well, that's what happened. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Gangy, have a heart for somebody else. Yeah. The guy, the guy doesn't need this. Do. All right, you go, you leave. That's all. Enough with you. Go get your own place with your name on the li the li uh, lease, and get Gorilla to sign the name. You won't be back. Right. <laughs> Gorilla's gonna be sleeping on a subway grill. Subway <laughs> grill. <laughs> all right, Gangy. Stuttering John, thank you, and thank you, Steve Gorilla. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have no lunch. Who this? Cash app. Dollar sign. Milk crate. Marauder. Uh huh. Venmo at Milk Crate Marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard.